Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Fantasy, I, Invincible Start from the Prodigal. Chapter 41, Brother Yi, what have you been doing for a long time? What kind of place is that heavenly Tao city? Li Fei asked curiously, you must know that he has owned the heavenly Tao for almost a year. It can be said that he has been suffering all the time. He has always wanted to see what kind of place heavenly Tao is. Is there any so amazing what that person said? However, although he didn't make it, he still felt that he had earned it after getting 13 epiphany pills. Does the interface you were in have technology? Hearing Li Fei's question, Yi Feng didn't answer immediately, but instead asked a question. After all, he didn't know whether the interface of the other party was a pure fantasy world like Xuantian continent. And since there are technological products in Heavenly Dao City, there must be an interface with technology among the thousands of lower realms. Technology. What is technology? Li Fei touched his head, completely ignorant of the meaning of the word. Since you don't know technology, I can't explain some things clearly. But you have to remember one thing, if you want to go to Heavenly Dao City in the future, from now on, if you get a top quality spiritual crystal, keep it well, that thing is extremely important in Heavenly Dao City, and it must be a top quality spiritual crystal, even high grade spirit crystals are useless, they must be top grade spirit crystals. Yi Feng reminded Li Fei seriously. The best spirit crystal. Hearing this, Li Fei laughed bitterly. This time he was lucky enough to get more than 200 low-grade spirit crystals, and he was almost blissfully fainted, let alone getting the best-grade spirit crystals. Heard about it? Um, at this moment, Yi Feng suddenly found that the prodigal product of the day was refreshed. Prodigal product. Death Sword Intent Fragment 10,000. It turned out to be a Sword Intent Fragment again. It's not difficult to defeat it, but you have to find a suitable target. Why not grab a demonic beasts? Thinking of this, Yi Feng suddenly noticed Li Fei beside him, and asked casually, Li Fei, are you Jian Shu? Sword Repair Brother Yi, I'm not a sword cultivator, I'm just a normal cultivator, and I don't like cultivating swords either. I don't understand why Yi Feng asked such a question, but Li Fei still expressed his own thoughts. Laughed Hearing this, Yi Feng grinned and laughed directly. If you don't like Jian Shu, then this sword intent fragment is not suitable for you. Isn't this a prodigal? Gu Dong. Seeing Yi Feng looking at himself with a strange look and smiling strangely, Li Fei swallowed a little uneasy. Stand still, don't move. Saying that, a large number of sword intent fragments appeared in Yi Feng's hand, and just sensing the mood fluctuations emanating from those sword intent made Li Fei tremble. It was the smell of death. Although he only has the strength of the peak of the ninth stage, Li Fei has experienced several life and death crises, big and small. He can still distinguish the taste of death. Death sword intent fragments. Under the haze of death, Li Fei suddenly thought of something and exclaimed with wide eyes. One, two, three, dot dot dot. Li Fei was already numb. Yi Feng melted the power of one death sword intent fragment into his body, but because of Yi Feng's previous warning, he didn't dare to move or resist. Although Li Fei knows that this is definitely a good thing, but he is not a sword cultivator. Now he has forcibly blessed death sword intent on his body. He is numb now, which makes him cultivate in the future. It's not that Li Fei doesn't know what to do, it's that he really isn't interested in John Shou. I don't know how long it took, when Yi Feng blessed Li Fei with all the power of 10,000 death sword intent fragments, he completely defeated today's prodigal product, and successfully got a reward of 1,000 prodigal points, but he didn't. With other special rewards, his prodigal points have now accumulated to 5,810 points. The terrifying death sword intent wave enveloped a radius of thousands of meters, and the protagonist Li Fei was completely dumbfounded at this time. He doesn't know how far his current death sword intent has reached, he only knows one thing, it's fierce, his current death sword intent is super fierce. But why he doesn't practice swords, this death sword intent is a waste for him. Once the sect is discovered by the master, shouldn't he be forced to change his swordsmanship? Thinking of this, Li Fei is going crazy. He really doesn't like John Shou. Brother Li Fei, don't be grateful to me, this is all your chance, and I tell you, now that your death sword intent has reached the pinnacle, you may break through to the realm of sword heart at any time, as long as you work hard for cultivation for a moment, I feel fine. Seeing the resentful look on Li Fei's face, Yi Feng couldn't help laughing. Kenshin, 
the realm of swordsmen. Hearing Yi Feng's words, Li Fei was about to cry. He remembered that sect leader had been cultivating for a hundred years, and he was also known as the most savvy person in sect for thousands of years. Breakthrough to the realm of Jianxin. Done. Li Fei feels that his future is dark, unless he does not return to the sect, but even if he goes to other sects and notices the terrifying death sword intent on him, it will definitely make him change his swordsmanship, and he does not want to become a rogue cultivator's. It became a dead end. Thank you brother Yi for the great opportunity. What can he do? Now that the matter has come, what else can he do? Naturally, he has to thank Yi Feng for his kindness, and all the grievances can only be endured silently in his heart. Brother Yi, can I know why you don't absorb the power of these death sword intent fragments yourself? After the hypocritical thanks, Li Fei also asked his own doubts. This is a death sword intent. Even if it is not a sword repairer, he knows that this is definitely an extremely powerful sword intent. I'm not a sword repairer, what do I want it for? Hearing Li Fei's question, Yi Feng also answered directly without hesitation. Um, you are not a sword cultivator, and I am not a sword cultivator. Hearing Yi Feng's answer, Li Fei collapsed even more. No matter which one of the thousands of lower realms it is, no matter what realm's cultivator, if any sword cultivator sees that Yi Feng and Li Fei both dislike this extremely powerful death sword intent, they will probably vomit blood directly. Let's go. Then you must have any concerns. Just unleash the mighty death sword intent, and let's walk sideways on this second stage heavenly Tao battlefield from now on. Saying that, an extremely huge thunder spirit power emerged crazily from Yi Feng's body, and directly condensed ten Nanyao thunder lotuses flashing with thunder light behind him. High grade martial skill, Zhu Yao Lei Lian. When Li Fei saw these ten giant nine bladed thunder lotuses, he exclaimed directly. He is the spiritual roots cultivator of thunder fire. He once tried to cultivate this powerful martial skill, but it took a month without getting started, he knew that it was extremely difficult to comprehend this martial skill, but he did not expect that Yi Feng had already comprehended this powerful martial skill. You actually recognize this martial skill. Hearing Li Fei's exclamation, Yi Feng was also taken aback. You must know that although he has used this martial skill in Xingji Zong, no matter whether it is Song Deacon or sect leader and others, they can only judge that this is a top grade martial skill of the prefecture level. Self created martial skill. I recognize it, but this is the martial skill unique to my Lei Ming Zong. How could you, Brother Yi? Li Fei also reacted at this time, and his eyes were full of puzzlement, because he knew that Yi Feng and him were not the same interface, not to mention that this martial skill was sect's unique martial skill. It seems that the martial skill contained in the martial skill jar contains all the martial skills in the thousands of lower realms, and it is not limited to the Xuantian continent. Hearing Li Fei's words, Yi Feng also had a guess. Let's go, the next goal, kill the 87 demonic beasts at the peak of the ninth stage. Yi Feng didn't forget the random task triggered in the Star Soul sect. Killing a hundred demonic beasts in the second stage Heavenly Dao battlefield can get a lot of loser points. Until now, he has only killed 13 heads, and the number of demonic beasts encountered by this realm is too small. Which interface do these two guys come from? It's too arrogant, I'd better stay away. I just glanced at them, they won't think I'm provocative, I'm so flustered, I want to go home, these two fools are a bit too perverted. The Qi realm is so terrifying, these two are definitely the existence of heaven's favorite. Along the way, all the cultivators encountered, who felt the suffocating death sword intent of Li Fei and the ten extremely terrifying nine Yao Lei Lian floating behind Yi Feng, all hid far away, and no one dared to go up. Provocation before, and even fear that the two will obliterate them at will. As for the arrogance of the two, they did not dare to be dissatisfied at all, this is the deterrent force brought by the powerful strength. Cool, so cool, how cool. Looking at the fearful cultivators around him, Li Fei felt very happy. Although he has come to the Heavenly Tao battlefield many times, he has never been so happy. I am arrogant, so who dares to dislike me? Brother Yi, when will you come to the Heavenly Tao battlefield next time, let's make an appointment, maybe we can meet you. However, Li Fei did not lose himself by the power. He knew that being so arrogant now has a great relationship with Yi Feng next to him. Otherwise, even if he had the extremely powerful death sword intent, he would be in a hurry and be surrounded and killed. Afraid of dying. 
It's okay to make an appointment, but next time I come back, I'm afraid I will go to the third stage Heavenly Dao battlefield. Um, hearing this, Li Fei was stunned for a moment, and asked directly, Brother Yi, do you already have signs of breakthrough, will you directly impact the wrongling realm when you go back? Signs of breakthrough, what it is, I want to make a breakthrough, I will make a breakthrough, and if I don't make a breakthrough, I will make a breakthrough directly to a big realm, not only a breakthrough to the wrongling realm, but a direct breakthrough to the ninth stage peak of the wrongling realm in one go. Yi Feng said with a serious face. Forehead. Brother Yi, bragging is not like that, how can I take it? Hearing Yi Feng's words, Li Fei also laughed awkwardly. He really didn't expect Yi Feng to blow so hard that he didn't know how to take it down for a while. Brother Yi is awesome. In the end, Li Fei only held back these four character mantras to express his admiration. Twenty minutes later, leave the demonic beasts at the peak of the five-headed ninth stage to me, and leave the rest to you. Seeing that there was a group of demonic beasts in front of him, Yi Feng directly stared at the five demonic beasts' leaders, and behind him ten nine yang thunder lotuses turned into thunder lights and blasted towards the five demonic beasts. One Juyao Thunder Lotus was seriously injured, and the second Juyao Thunder Lotus was obliterated. The five demonic beasts just happened to be directly obliterated by Ten Nine Yao Lei Lian. Seeing this scene, Li Fei on the side also twitched in shock. Those are all demonic beasts in the Heavenly Dao battlefield. Each demonic beasts is enough. Against three equal realm cultivators. The thirteen realm demonic beasts that Yi Feng killed at first were trapped in dozens of prison cells, and then directly obliterated with the unknown sharp sword. Li Fei did not see Yi Feng's true combat power. Now seeing Yi Feng's terrifying combat power, Li Fei was really frightened. Again, when Li Fei saw that Yi Feng had condensed ten Juyao Lei Lian flashing with thunder again, his startled eyes almost popped out. The more advanced the martial skill is, although the power is powerful, the consumption of spirit power is also doubled. Before Yi Feng condensed ten nine yang thunder lotuses, Li Fei thought that was Yi Feng's limit, and he had already scared him enough. Now, I think that the spirit sea in Yi Feng's body is definitely several times owned. But now it seems that the other party's Ling Hai is definitely more than several times as simple as himself. After all, the power contained in each nine brilliant thunder lotus is tantamount to the full blow of a cultivator. Not far away, dozens of cultivators from all walks of life were shocked when they saw Yi Feng's understatement of directly killing the demonic beasts at the top of the ninth stage ninth stage. Spell Cultivator Seeing that Li Fei used various spirit power martial skills to kill many other demonic beasts, but he didn't use the death sword intent at all, and he didn't even have a sword in his hand, and everyone was even more dumbfounded. You are a sword cultivator, you don't need a sword to kill the enemy, you don't need a sword martial skill, are those demonic beasts not worthy of letting you use a sword? If Li Fei knew what everyone was thinking, he would definitely yell, Daddy is not a sword repairer, but a porter for sword intent. For the next two days, Yi Feng and Li Fei wandered wildly in the Heavenly Dao battlefield, constantly looking for the demonic beasts at the peak level of the ninth stage of the aerodynamic realm. When they encountered the demonic beasts group, they were too lazy to kill them, thinking it was a waste of time. As for the income of those demonic beasts, Yi Feng didn't care. And Li Fei not only got more than 200 low-grade spirit crystals by chance, but also got 13 epiphany pills and the terrifying death sword intent, plus he was a little infected by following Yi Feng, and he no longer liked that point profit. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully killing 109th stage demonic beasts on the second stage Heavenly Dao battlefield and getting 5,000 prodigal points. Pong, as Yi Feng smashed the 100th demonic beasts of the 9th stage, the system prompt sounded. It's broken. With the 5,000 prodigal points obtained, Yi Feng's current prodigal point finally broke 10,000, reaching 10,810 points. System, look at this little fatty running for me in the past two days. Am I proud? It's not too much to give 100,000 top quality spirit stones. It's been a long time since I triggered the prodigal behavior, and Yi Feng really wanted to give Li Fei a little reward. In the past two days, the other party did all the trivial things like cutting demonic beasts, roasting demonic beasts, and finding temporary accommodation. Yes, you don't need to worry about anything. Ding. The quantity is too large and does not meet the price standard. What about the 10,000 best spirit stones? 
For this kind of thing, Yi Fang didn't bother to bargain too much with the system, so he directly reduced it tenfold. Ding. The opponent has the limit death sword intent, and the number is reasonable. Um, could it be that according to the strength of different cultivators and events, it is a criterion for judging the number of spirit stones? Yi Fang also had such a guess at this time. Brother Yi, it's been almost two months since I came to the Heavenly Dao battlefield. According to the rules of sect, I have to return to the Heavenly Fire realm. At this time, Li Fei's face was full of reluctance, it was really a day with Yi Fang, it was so cool. Your sect also stipulates the day. Yi Fang was a little puzzled about this. Brother Yi, the deadline is two months. If you don't leave the Heavenly Dao battlefield and return to the sect, the sect will think that you died in the Heavenly Dao battlefield. Cultivators from all walks of life actually have a time limit, unless it's rogue cultivators. Seeing that Yi Fang was puzzled, Li Fei also opened his mouth to explain. It turns out that meeting is fate. You have been helping me in the past two days. Take these 10,000 top quality spirit stones, and we will meet again in the future. After putting the interspatial ring with 10,000 top quality spirit stones in Li Fei's hands, Yi Feng turned around and left freely. Brother Yi, you are Li Fei's benefactor. We will meet again in the future. Looking at Yi Feng's back, Li Fei clenched the interspatial ring in his hands, silently thinking of leaving, the space around him began to distort, and the figure gradually disappeared in place. Ding! Congratulations to the host for the success of the prodigal, reward 200 prodigal points, and reward death sword intent fragments asterisk 10,000. Hearing the system prompt sound in his mind, especially the special reward he received, Yi Feng couldn't help but swear, just finished 10,000 death sword intent fragments, and another 10,000. This is a system reward. Even if you consume it in a prodigal way, you will not get prodigal points. In that case, use it yourself. Thinking of this, Yi Feng took out a bunch of death sword intent fragments from the system space and began to fuse them together. On the east side of Yi Feng, a few hundred meters away, there are hundreds of cultivators. The fatty with the terrifying death sword intent has gone, and now that arrogant guy is left, and he has consumed a lot of spiritual chi in the past two days. To be honest, the amount of spiritual chi contained in his body is really terrifying, but he has never seen the spiritual chi that he cultivated to recover from the loss. I think this is an opportunity for us. No matter which interface he comes from, he is definitely the arrogance of that interface. Many of us are ordinary cultivators, and there is an opportunity to kill the arrogance in front of us. Do you really want to miss it? At this time, a white-haired young man made a proposal to the hundreds of people with a vicious expression. Kill Tianzhao. When everyone heard this, their hearts were shocked. On their respective interfaces, not only their own strength was low, but such a terrifying Tianzhao was definitely the existence they looked up to. Now there is a chance to kill Tianzhao, is fake. The most important thing is that there are more than 300 people gathered here. Among them, there are more than 100 cultivators at the peak of the ninth stage. No matter how strong one person is, can they still fight against more than 100 opponents with realm? Thinking of this, everyone's expressions have a little excitement, they are not Tianzhao, but they can kill Tianzhao, this will be the glory of their life. In a word, to kill or not to kill. Only one chance. Seeing everyone's reaction, a sneer appeared on the corner of the white-haired youth's mouth. A year ago, he got a chance in the first stage Heavenly Dao battlefield, and since then he has soared into the sky insect. Now that he sees Yi Feng and Li Fei, he considers himself inferior, but he can't tolerate the existence of Tianzhao who is stronger than him, that is a distorted psychology. Kill. When everyone heard the words of the white-haired youth, they looked at each other and gave the answer with excitement. The other side. At this time, Yi Feng was frantically merging the death sword intent fragments, and the death sword intent obtained by fusion was also suppressed by him, and he did not release it. Call. Finally all merged. Let me feel how strong the ultimate death sword intent is. Boom. As he thought about it, a huge death sword intent shot up from his body, and the terrifying death mood swept all around him crazily. At this time, more than 300 people had come to a position less than 80 meters away from Yi Feng, and as the suffocating death mood enveloped them, everyone's faces suddenly changed dramatically, and their eyes were instantly filled with fear. Death sword intent. Just the death mood made them immersed in the scene, 
as if they would die if they changed a little bit, they couldn't raise the fighting spirit to resist at all. Not only the fatty who left had such a terrifying death sword intent, but the young man who had been carrying ten terrifying thunder lotuses had the same death sword intent. Regret, now pervades everyone's heart. There is a huge spiritual chi in the body, the martial skill of the top grade, and the terrifying death sword intent. Does the opponent have any cards that have not been shown? This kind of peerless genius is not something they can provoke at all. You guys, want to kill me? At this time, Yi Feng turned to look at everyone, his eyes were extremely indifferent. One after another, Zhu Yao Thunder Lotus began to condense from behind Yi Feng. 1, 5, 10. When the number of Zhu Yao Thunder Lotus reached more than 230, the mountain like top quality spirit stones appeared next to Yi Feng out of thin air, madly absorbing the pure spiritual chi from the best spirit stones. Yi Feng began to continue to gather Zhu Yao Thunder Lotus. Go, if we don't do anything, we will all die here. With the loud shout of the white haired youth, the people who were deeply immersed in death's fear were also shocked. They tried their best to resist the endless fear brought by death's artistic conception. Give me death, Yi Feng sneered, and the more than 200 terrifying thunder lotuses flickering with thunder light behind him turned into one after another thunder light, and slammed directly towards the more than 300 people on the opposite side. At the same time, Yi Feng is still madly absorbing the pure spirit power from the top quality spirit stones. Without spiritual roots, he cannot perceive the spiritual chi between heaven and earth. As long as there are enough spirit stones, he can constantly replenish the spirit power consumed in the body. As long as he absorbs spirit power fast enough, he is a terrifying perpetual motion machine. Water Dragon, Hurricane, Fire Dragon Fist, the other two top-grade prefecture-level martial skills and the top-grade human-level martial skill Fire Dragon Fist, Yi Feng also used it frantically at this time, completely ignoring the consumption of spiritual qi. Four series spiritual roots, three top grade prefecture level martial skills. With a huge amount of top quality spirit stones, the spiritual qi that replenishes the body's depletion at any time. The people on the opposite side saw this scene, except for despair or despair in their eyes, they could not win at all, and they would even be unilaterally slaughtered by the other party. Regret. They regretted why they came to provoke this peerless genius. As mortals, how dare they pick the god of war spirit? After a while, Yi Feng didn't react much when he looked at the corpses all over the place. This is the fantasy world he knows. He is a prodigal god, but he is definitely not the virgin. Since he is an enemy, then kill him. Fire Dragon Fist, are you from the Shuantian realm? Just when Yi Feng put away the remaining top quality spirit stones and was about to leave, a little lowly in a purple dress blocked his way and stared at him curiously. Yes, who are you? Looking at the cute little lowly opposite, Yi Feng asked directly. My name is Luo Yao Yao, from Wanwa Valley. After speaking, little lowly laughed, and even saw Yi Feng's shocked expression. Valley of Thousand Flowers, have not heard. However, Yi Feng's answer made Xiao Loli's smile instantly stiffen on his face, and an unbelievable look appeared in his eyes. As a person from Shuantian realm, would he have never heard of 10,000 Flowers Valley? Are you sure you're from the Shuantian realm? So which sect are you from? Luo Yao Yao looked at Yi Feng curiously and asked again. Are you checking your account here? Why should I tell you? After speaking, Yi Feng ignored the other party, turned around and walked towards the distance. 4 Series Spiritual Roots The spirit sea in the body is extremely terrifying. At the peak of the aerodynamic ninth stage, I realized the three martial skills of the top grade, and the knowledge exploded. Death Sword Intent has reached the extreme, and it is possible to break through to the realm of Death Sword Heart at any time. Thinking of the other party's situation, Luo Yao Yao also took a deep breath. Once the other party grows up, he will definitely be on the hidden dragon list, and there is definitely the top five, and even the top three are possible. Thinking of this, Luo Yao Yao's eyes rolled, and she immediately chased after Yi Feng. I already told you my name, but you haven't said what your name is. By the way, didn't you have a sect, so you suddenly got angry just now? What are you looking for in the Heavenly Dao battlefield, maybe I know. Hearing Luo Yao Yao chattering around, Yi Feng felt that his head was about to explode. If you don't leave, I will really kill you. Unable to bear it, Yi Feng stared at the other party with murderous intent to directly threaten, 
and he was definitely not joking, so what about the people from Shuantian realm? But you can't kill me. My real cultivation base is the pinnacle of the ninth stage of the primordial spirit realm, but I suppress the cultivation base with a secret treasure. If you shoot at me, I will release the real cultivation base, which can definitely obliterate you while being teleported out. Quote. Luo Yao Yao tilted her head and looked at Yi Feng with a proud expression. System, what this little lowly said is true or false, isn't this heavenly Dao battlefield a very good existence, and that kind of secret treasure? Yi Feng was also surprised after hearing this, and simply asked the system. Ding, what the other party said is true, the secret treasure is the purple hairpin on the other party's hair. Soon the system gave an answer and pointed out the other party's secret treasure. It turned out to be true. Yi Feng also showed a look of surprise at this time. How old is the other party, and he already has a cultivation base at the peak of the ninth stage of the primordial spirit realm. This strength is not weaker than his master Luo Chenshui. My name is Yi Feng, from the Star Soul Sect. Now that you know everything you want to know, don't bother me anymore. After speaking, Yi Feng ignored Little Loli. Star Soul Sect. I've never heard of it. Yi Feng, this name is quite nice, why did you suddenly answer me, I was just kidding you, don't you really think that I have the powerful cultivation base of the ninth stage of the primordial spirit realm? Little Loli pretended to be exaggerating and looked at Yi Feng and joked. Then you try to throw away the purple hairpin on your head. With a playful look, Yi Feng looked at Luo Yao Yao and said directly. Um, Luo Yao Yao's expression changed when she heard this, her eyes were full of shock when she looked at Yi Feng, she couldn't understand how the other party knew that the secret treasure to suppress cultivation base was the purple hairpin on her head. But I underestimated you. I've never heard of the star soul sect you're talking about, and I think it must be an underachiever. You must have heard of Xingjizong, the absolute top sect, as long as you leave the star soul sect, I guarantee that you can join the Xingjizong, and I can also guarantee that you will become the core discipline of the sect, how about it, do you have any interest? At this time, Luo Yao Yao changed her playful appearance, looked at Yi Feng seriously and asked. Xingjizong, core discipline, Luo Yao Yao, Surname Luo. No way. Thinking of this, Yi Feng suddenly had a very bold guess. Who is Luo Chen Shui? Yi Feng stared at Luo Yao Yao and asked directly. Question mark question mark question mark. You know my sister. Luo Yao Yao heard Yi Feng say her sister's name directly, and there was a look of surprise on her face. Luo Chen Shui is my master, so aren't you my little master? After Yi Feng heard that Luo Chen Shui turned out to be the other party's sister, the whole person was stupid. Little sister-in-law, you are my sister's apprentice. Star Soul Sect was founded by my sister sect. Not only Yi Feng is stupid, Luo Yao Yao is also stupid at this time. Ten minutes later, when Yi Feng explained some things, Luo Yao Yao was stupid again. Sister's direct disciple, the sixth core discipline of Xingji Sect. The honored elder of Xingjizong, the status, status, and seniority are all on an equal footing with the five great ancestors. Is identity so complicated? So, do I call you Marshal Nephew or Elder Yi? Um, looking at Luo Yao Yao's lovely lowly appearance, Yi Feng was silent for a moment and said directly, We have different opinions, you call me Elder Yi, and I call you Shi Ji Yu. I can call you Auntie, but you, a little lowly, call me Nephew, no, it's too awkward. At this time, Yi Feng was extremely fortunate that he still had the identity of an elder. Who would have thought that Luo Chen Shui would have such a talented lowly little sister? Come on, master, let this elder squeeze your cheek. Saying that, Yi Feng's hands pinched Luo Yao Yao's lovely lowly face, looking at the other party's eyes like fire, Yi Feng's mood was very comfortable, and the irritable mood that was entangled by the other party was instantly swept away. It's the first time we meet. What should I give to the little sister-in-law? After pinching for a while, Yi Feng held his chin and looked at the little sister-in-law lowly, but she became contemplative. It is not interesting to always give spirit stones. Although it will trigger prodigal behavior, he has given enough. Epiphany Dan, that thing must be given some, but it's still a bit inappropriate as a gift, after all, that thing is equivalent to snacks. Golden Silkworm Star Shining Stone Looking at the body shape of little Loli, she doesn't look like a refiner. There is only one left of the nine-leaf soul returning grass. It is said that it will be used as a reward. 
Bai Lao and Sha Lao are still waiting day and night in the sect. Purple Thunder Wild Lion Demon Blood Essence. Humanoid Monster Little Loli, probably not. Recalling what he has now, Yi Feng looked at Luo Yao Yao and asked directly, Little sister, are you a body cultivator? Yes, I am the body cultivator, I really don't know how you found out. Hearing Yi Feng's question, Luo Yao Yao, who was sulking because Yi Feng pinched her face just now, was shocked again. She didn't know why, but now she was standing in front of Yi Feng, and suddenly there was something she couldn't hide. Any secret feeling, this feeling made her a little flustered. Question mark question mark question mark. Really body cultivator, little humanoid monster Loli. Hearing Luo Yao Yao's answer, Yi Feng was also surprised, it was incredible. Elder Yi, let me tell you, I hate people pinching my cheeks the most. You pinched my cheeks just now. This matter is not over. When I go back, I must let my sister preside over me. Before she finished speaking, when Luo Yao Yao saw a drop of demonic beast's blood essence exuding powerful monster Qi in Yi Feng's hand, her voice suddenly stopped. Demonic beast's blood essence. Blood Essence, the big purple thunder lion demon who has survived nine heavenly Tao thunder tribulations, squeeze his face for a drop. Since you don't like people pinching your cheeks, then even. Before Yi Feng finished speaking, Luo Yao Yao ran to Yi Feng at the fastest speed, grabbed Yi Feng's other hand and put it on her poor face. No one else can, but you are Elder Yi. What's the point of pinching Junior's face? Looking at Luo Yao Yao with a cute smile, Yi Feng couldn't help laughing. He pinched the opponent's small face like a bomb, and directly gave the big demon blood essence in his hand. Since she is a body cultivator, is the little sister-in-law also a cultivator? This little sister-in-law is quirky, and if I don't grasp it completely, I'm afraid I will have big trouble in the future. Thinking of this, Yi Fang's acting skills were extremely poor and he dropped a golden silkworm star stone on the ground. Golden silkworm star shining stone. Not surprisingly, when Luo Yao Yao saw the golden silkworm star shining at the foot of Yi Feng, she exclaimed in surprise, and her whole body trembled violently because of her excitement. Young master sister, do you recognize me? Want to? Um, um, um. Hearing Yi Feng's question, and looking at the golden silkworm star Yao she picked up by the other party, Luo Yao Yao's little head nodded frantically like a rattle. No. Yi Feng quickly put the golden silkworm star Yaoshi into the system space, looked at Luo Yao Yao who was stunned, couldn't help but laughed out loud. If you don't realize that Yi Feng is playing with himself at this time, Luo Yao Yao is really a fool. But what if he understands, if Yi Feng doesn't give it to him, will she still be able to snatch it? It doesn't matter if it doesn't matter, now the other party is not only Elder Yi, but also her little nephew, how could she possibly snatch it away? Thinking of this, Luo Yao Yao was going crazy. This was completely pinched by Yi Feng. She didn't understand how Yi Feng could have so many good things in her hands. Elder Yi, how did you become my sister's direct disciple? Also, how did you become the honorary elder of Xingji sect? In order to alleviate the embarrassing situation at this time, Luo Yao Yao directly diverted her attention, and she really wanted to know the answers to these two questions. Growing up, I didn't care about anything and was obsessed with cultivation every day. How could I accept a great disciple? After all, Xingji Zong is a top sect. Except for a very small number of detached forces, it is definitely the existence of a giant. With Yi Fang's current strength, how can he get the status of an honorary elder? Because I have money, 500,000 top grade spirit stones, I bought the identity of a direct disciple from your sister. 100 million top quality spirit crystals plus the strengthened nine swords sword formation formation secret tome bought an honorary elder status insect ah hearing yi feng's words luo yao yao once wondered if there was something wrong with her own ears can the great disciples still buy it sect honor elder can still buy it's ridiculous have you ever seen a top grade spirit crystal zonko is 100 million top grade spirit crystals do you know what that concept is at this moment, a voice full of disdain came from not far away, and then, a middle-aged woman with a charming charm came from a distance, looking at Yi Feng with disdain in her eyes. Master, when Luo Yao Yao saw the person coming, she immediately shouted respectfully. I am the owner of Wanwa Valley. Don't you like to use spirit stones and spirit crystals to buy special status? 
As long as you can come up with 100 million top quality spirit crystals, the owner of this valley will worship you as a teacher and let you have another prominent status, how about it? Hua Yumeng continued to look at Yi Feng with disdain. Seeing the flowery dream full of gunpowder, Luo Yao Yao also quickly looked at Yi Feng and explained, Elder Yi, what my master dislikes the most in his life is that other people talk big, don't mind, she has no malicious intentions. One is Shizen and the other is his own little nephew. Luo Yao Yao is feeling extremely headache now. She has nothing to do with Shizen, which is not a problem, think it's a disease. Yi Feng looked at the aggressive Hua Yumeng, and his face gradually became ugly. Although he really wanted to give his little sister this face, the other party's strong attitude made him extremely unhappy. Little sister-in-law, it's because your master is too deceiving. I can't give you this face. Saying that, Yi Feng directly took out an interspatial ring containing 100 million top quality spiritual crystals and threw it at Hua Yumeng, and said with a sneer, Good disciple, these 100 million top quality spiritual crystals are even given by master. It's your meet and greet. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully slapping the face, and rewarding golden silkworm Xing Yao Shi Ten, purple thunder lion blood essence 100, and advanced sword heart fragment 5. What the hell, is this also rewarded? This is not considered a prodigal behavior, so even if 100 million top grade spirit crystals are used, Yi Feng did not ask the system. Anyway, the system has unlimited supply, not a prodigal behavior. No matter how much he uses, he will neither deduct the prodigal point nor get it. But he didn't expect to trigger the reward for pretending to be slapped in the face. The time is too short. The time from rebirth to this fantasy world is still too short. He feels that there are still many hidden functions in the system that he has not discovered. And when Hua Yumeng saw the densely packed top quality spiritual crystals in the interspatial ring in his hand, the whole person was dumbfounded. Top quality spirit crystals, even the Wanwa Valley, which has been passed down for tens of thousands of years, has less than 10 million reserves. After all, even in the battlefield of heaven and earth, it is extremely difficult to find top quality spirit crystals. Even if one top grade spirit crystal can be exchanged for 100 top grade spirit crystals, but if you want to exchange 100 top grade spirit crystals for one top grade spirit crystal, no one will exchange it at all. Impossible. How could you have so many top quality spirit crystals? Even though 100 million top grade spirit crystals are already in front of you, Hua Yumeng still can't believe it's true. The Valley of 10,000 Flowers is a transcendent force. Even so, there are only about 10 million top quality spiritual crystals. Yi Feng, a small cultivator at the peak of the ninth stage, how could there be such a huge top quality spiritual crystal? Don't think I only have those broken spirit crystals. With that said, Yi Feng took out the 15 pieces of golden silkworm star, 279 drops of the purple thunder lion demon blood essence, a nine leaf revive grass, and five advanced swordsman fragments. As for the epiphany Dan, he didn't take it out, because no one would believe it unless he tried it himself. This this, when Hua Yumeng saw these treasures that Yi Feng had brought out, which even Wanwa Valley could not take out, the whole person was shocked and couldn't say a word. This thing is called Jonshin Advanced Fragment. As long as the sword intent you perceive reaches the extreme, as long as you absorb the power inside, you can directly break through to the realm of Jonshin. Saying that, Yi Feng directly placed a sword Shin Advanced Fragment on his forehead. With the emergence of a cool feeling, the ultimate death sword intent burst out, and the sword intent climbed steadily, and finally burst out, a black sword embryo visible to the naked eye appeared above Yi Feng's head. The realm of swordsmanship, sword embryo prototype. Seeing this scene, whether it was Hua Yumeng or Luo Yao Yao, they all exclaimed with wide eyes, their eyes filled with disbelief. After a while, call, Hua Yumeng took a deep breath, looked at Yi Feng and said with resentment, I am willing to admit defeat, from now on, you will be my master of Hua Yumeng, but this only represents me, not Wangwa Valley. After speaking, Hua Yumeng smiled bitterly. For hundreds of years, she did not expect that she would be planted in the hands of a little guy with aerodynamic realm, but she is also full of curiosity about Yi Feng now. She can't understand how Yi Feng has so many treasures. Done. It's over. It's over. Luo Yao Yao on the side was completely confused at this time. Yi Feng has now become her master's master, isn't that her master? Then I now call him Martial Nephew, 
Elder Ye or martial ancestor. Luo Yaoyao never imagined that one day her identity would become so complicated. Master, please change your faults. You're messing with your identity now. Luo Yaoyao looks at Hua Yumong, who is full of unwillingness, and her mentality is really broken. Ding, congratulations to the host for having the first disciple. According to the situation of the disciple, the reward will be Gui Mi Grass 100, Dead Soul Branch 100, Five Poisonous Passion Flower 100, Soul Burning Bamboo Water 100. Ding, remind the host that the host is a prodigal hero. We must pass on this fine tradition to the disciples, and encourage the disciples to work hard. According to the situation of the disciples, the system will also give certain rewards. Question mark question mark question mark. Yi Feng was stunned when he heard the prompt sound suddenly sounded by the system. Accept apprentices, there are rewards. Encourage apprentices to lose their homes, and there are rewards. I was still guessing that there must be many hidden functions in the system that have not been discovered. Who would have thought that one would be discovered so quickly? But what are the rewards given? Why does the name sound like a highly poisonous thing? Yi Feng had doubts about those rewards at this time. Is Wanwa Valley a force that studies poison? Do you know this thing? Saying that, Yi Feng took out a ghost grass from the system space. Ghost grass. However, Hua Yumeng and Luo Yaoyao exclaimed together when they saw the poisonous spiritual herbs in Yi Feng's hands. Because of the ghosts and grasses, their master and apprentice only saw it in the unpublished secret scriptures of Wanwa Valley. Excited, Hua Yumeng and Luo Yaoyao were completely excited at this time. If there is a ghost, the poisonous body of their cultivation can be further strengthened. Hua Yumeng, today you become the first disciple of my sect, that is, the future senior sister. You still have to understand our sect rules. With that said, Yi Feng took out all the remaining 99 ghost plants. Hiss, I thought that there was only one leaf maple. After all, this is the legendary poisonous spiritual herbs, except that the first three valley owners of Wangwa Valley met in the Heavenly Dao battlefield tens of thousands of years ago, over one. But who would have thought that Yi Feng would have so many? Door rules, Elder Yi, do you still have a sect? But after the shock, Luo Yaoyao, who had reacted, asked with a bewildered expression. Forget it, but I won't open a mountain and establish a sect. In the future, the disciples of my prodigal family will spread all over the Xuantian continent, and even spread to thousands of lower realms. Yi Feng also had an extremely crazy idea at this time. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully creating a prodigal door, rewarding 100,000 prodigal points, enabling the sect sound transmission function, and enabling the sect transmission function. Sect voice transmission function. All disciples of the host, no matter where they are, can transmit voice to the host through divine sense, and the host can also give orders to the disciples through divine sense. Sect teleportation function. For any disciple of the host, no matter where they are, the host can directly teleport to the disciple. Each disciple can teleport once a day for one hour. After that, the host will automatically teleport back to the original position. I'm a big boss. Yi Feng made a foul language at this time. This reward is simply an explosion. It is directly 100,000 prodigal points. He has worked so hard for so long, and the accumulated prodigal points are only a little over 10,000, and the two functions of sect are also very good. Powerful. And many more. If the disciples I accept are from other interfaces, doesn't it mean that I can also go to other interfaces? Suddenly, Yi Feng thought of another key point. What's the matter? Daddy wants to spread the legend of Daddy's prodigal family in thousands of lower realms. Yi Feng was full of energy at this moment, as if he had found his own life goal. Dot dot dot. Broken home. And let the disciples spread all over the Xuantian continent, and even spread to the thousands of lower realms. Hearing Yi Feng's words, whether it was Hua Yumeng or Luo Yaoyao, there was an extremely embarrassed look on his face, and Hua Yumeng didn't even dare to report the name of the second sect when he went out. It's still a loser, wouldn't it make people laugh out loud? Hua Yumeng, as a senior sister of sect, you must thoroughly understand the rules of sect. Let me ask you, what are you going to do with these 100 ghost plants after handing them over to you? Yi Feng looked at Hua Yumeng with a serious face at this time and asked directly. How to deal with it? How to deal with this? Master, apart from what Luo Yaoyao and I need for cultivation, 
the rest of the ghost grass will never be used privately in Wangwa Valley without master's permission, and will definitely be kept for master. In any case, Hua Yumeng now recognizes that she already has a second sect, and these are Yi Feng's things. As she said before, apprenticeship is her personal behavior, and she gets it from the master. The things that belong to her naturally belong to her, and all of them would not involve the Valley of Thousand Flowers. She knew this very clearly. Is everything safe? We are prodigals, how can you be so stupid, you can't even understand the essence of sect's name. However, Yi Feng, who heard this, exploded instantly. Looking at the furious Yi Feng, Hua Yumeng was stunned. She thinks that there is nothing wrong with the way she handles her own, although it is a prodigal family, is it really going to be a prodigal? Moreover, who is she, the dignified owner of Wanwa Valley, who is over a hundred years old, and now being reprimanded by a little guy like Yi Feng, there is an angry expression on her face, and a grievance in her heart. Are you afraid of the toxins in this ghost grass? Yi Feng stared at Hua Yumeng and asked directly. My cultivation with Luo Yao Yao is the unique body of all poisons in Wandu Valley. The toxins contained in the ghost grass are extremely terrifying. If it is a little bit, Luo Yao Yao should be fine. As for me, even this I am not afraid of the toxins in the ghost grass, and even absorbing them all will be of great benefit to me. Speaking of realm, which is her own specialty, Hua Yumeng is extremely confident and arrogant, because she has that capital. In that case, I'll tell you what to do with these ghosts. Before going to bed at night, shouldn't you take out a ghost grass bubble foot? After cultivating for a day, you are physically and mentally exhausted. Shouldn't you take out a few ghostly plants and put them in the bathtub to take a bath? Dry and boring cultivation, there will definitely be times when your mood is not good. At this time, is it bad to tear up a dozen or so plants to vent your irritability? Why, after speaking, Yi Feng looked at Hua Yumeng with a dull face and couldn't help but sighed, feeling that the accepted senior sister wanted to be trained, and I was afraid that it would take some effort. Crazy. Master is absolutely crazy. This is the ghost grass, the ghost grass is one less if you use it, and the ghost grass you don't know where to find it if you don't use it. He has made me such a loser, he is just crazy. Master, there are only a hundred plants of this ghostly grass. If you say it, it's not enough for a few days. Although her heart had collapsed, Hua Yumeng still tried her best to persuade her with a calm demeanor. If Huo Huo is gone, continue to Huo Huo goodbye. Saying that, Yi Feng took out 100 dead soul branches, 105 poisonous passion flowers, and 100 drops of soul scorching bamboo water, and said again, Do you see if these rubbish things are useful? Junk. How dare you call these legendary poison spiritual herbs and poison spirit water junk? Hua Yumeng and Luo Yao Yao looked at the poisonous spiritual herbs and poisonous spirit water on the ground, they were completely dumbfounded, and when they heard Yi Feng's words, they almost burst out of anger. These poisonous spiritual herbs and poisonous spirit water have indeed appeared on the battlefield of Heavenly Tao, but the number and number of them are too rare although a little more than the number and number of ghosts, but tens of thousands of years have passed, even the Valley of Ten Thousand Flowers doesn't have any stock, it can only be seen in the handed down secret scriptures. These are all given to you by the teacher. Don't keep them. You can do whatever you want. Although I don't have them now, I don't know when there will be a lot of them. And the 100 million top grade spiritual crystals I gave you, you will spend what you need when you return to the Valley of Thousand Flowers, don't care about the outer sect disciples, the treatment of all the disciples has been increased tenfold, what is the lack of cultivation resources, cultivation technique, martial skill, talismans and other things, buy them when you need them, and don't lower the price, we poor people can't afford to lose that person. But you remember one thing. We prostitutes should lose their families when they should, but they can't be taken advantage of, understand. Yi Feng looked at Hua Yumeng with a dazed face, and was about to twitch with anger. How could he accept such an extremely stupid disciple? Even a prodigal can't, you are still the owner of Wangwa Valley. Even though he thought so, he was his first disciple after all, so Yi Feng still had to leave some face for the other party, so he could only complain in his heart. Bless the sect sound transmission function. Bless the sect teleportation function. At this time, Yi Feng put his right hand on Hua Yumeng's forehead, and the two functions of the system were directly bound to Hua Yumeng's body. Stare, when Yi Feng's right hand was taken away, 
Hua Yumeng suddenly widened her eyes, looking at Yi Feng's eyes filled with endless horror. Hua Yumeng has no idea what Yi Feng did to her. But she knew that no matter where Yi Feng was, the two could communicate directly with divine sense. Not only that, Yi Feng could be by her side at any time. Weird. Originally, Yi Feng gave her an extremely mysterious feeling, but now that mysterious feeling is even stronger. What is the purpose of our sect? Yi Feng looked at Hua Yumeng and asked again. Prodigal. Strong loser. Do your best to be a prodigal. Um. Hearing Hua Yumeng's answer, Yi Feng's eyes suddenly lit up. He didn't expect Hua Yumeng to suddenly become enlightened. And Luo Yaoyao on the side heard this and looked at the master who had known each other for five years. At this moment, there was a sense of strangeness. Is this still the master who knows nothing? Master, rest assured, the disciples will definitely remember the purpose of sect and carry forward the prodigal family. Because of Yi Fang's mysterious and supernatural powers, Hua Yumeng has completely released her nature. With such a mysterious and terrifying master, she can do whatever she wants, not to mention what a cool thing it is to lose a family. Good, good, good. When Yi Feng heard Hua Yumeng's words, he was very happy. With one more disciple to help him lose his family, the speed at which he could obtain bankruptcy points and other special rewards could be accelerated. Most importantly, he already has his own purpose in life. In the future, his prodigal disciples will not seek much, but only refinement. And the Li Fei that I met before is a good candidate, but I don't know if I still have a chance to meet him. Li Fei, Li Fei, it depends on whether the two of us still have fate. If we have fate, I will admit you to my poor family when we meet in the future. If we don't have fate, then our master and apprentice have no fate. Yi Feng thought to himself at this moment. Crazy. All crazy. Shizen is crazy, so is his nephew. What should I do? Luo Yao Yao is about to cry at this moment, two people who are close to him are crazy, is she still far from being crazy? Little sister, this is 100 million top grade spirit stones. As long as you defeat all these top grade spirit stones, I will give you 10 drops of blood essence, the mad lion monster of purple thunder, and the requirements of the prodigal family are the same as your master, you can prosper, but not to be taken advantage of. Cried, whatever she wanted, Luo Yao Yao finally accepted the 100 million top grade spirit stones with tears in her eyes. What could she do? She could only find a way to start losing her family. It was really too much for her nephew. How could my dignified and prodigal little sister-in-law not be so heroic? Seeing Luo Yao Yao accepting 100 million top grade spirit stones, Yi Feng couldn't help laughing, everything was going in a good direction. Master, Yao Yao and I may have to leave first. The secret treasures on us only have 10 days to suppress the cultivation base each time. Today is the ninth heavens. Hua Yumeng said a bad news at this time. If that's the case, let's leave together. Anyway, it's not interesting for me to stay here. Thinking that he had already obtained 100,000 prodigal points, he simply went back and talked about it, and by the way, he also raised his own strength to the fusion spirit realm. Senior nephew, wait for me at Xingjizong, little sister-in-law will find you soon. When leaving, Luo Yao Yao made a face, followed Hua Yumeng with a playful smile and disappeared in place. Nephew, the identity is getting messy. Thinking that Luo Yao Yao is Shizen's pro little sister, now she seems to be the other's master or called Shizu again, and her seniority has followed. Wouldn't the seniority of Shizen also be affected, not to mention that she is still a star the elder of the extremist sect has been pulled to the same position as the five ancestors. Shaking his head with a wry smile, Yi Feng silently left in his heart, and as the space around him distorted, he quickly disappeared into the heavenly Dao battlefield. Reappearing in Xuantian continent, Yi Feng didn't know where he was teleported, but according to what Shigong Luo Wuming said, it should be within a thousand kilometers radius of the heavenly Dao battlefield teleportation tower he entered. Find a town to determine the location before rushing to Star Soul Sect. I don't know what it would look like when the master knew that so many things happened during the time I left. Thinking of this, Yi Feng chose a random direction and started hurrying directly. Dot dot dot. Star Soul Sect. Uncle Luo, why are you here? In the Great Hall of the Sect, Luo Chenshui looked at her father's friend with some doubts. Why did the other party come to her instead of reminiscing with her father? Chenshui, 
You needed a lot of cultivation resources when you were young, but Uncle Luo got them for you. Uncle will ask you, is Uncle good to you? Um, seeing Luo Kai's sensational episode, Luo Chenshui became even more curious, nodded and said directly, Uncle Luo, of course you were good to me, when my cultivation needed some relatively rare cultivation resources, that was all. You helped me get it. Then look, uncle is alone and wants to have a home now, and he doesn't want to continue to live that kind of wandering life. Can you get uncle an elder in the sect? Um, hearing this, Luo Chen Shui couldn't believe her ears. Are you lonely? You don't want to wander anymore. Isn't this your favorite way of life? You can enjoy life freely. Even if you suddenly have some other ideas, why do you still come to me when you want to find a home? I just founded sect, how many people are there? Uncle Luo, you are the dignified fourth stage powerhouse in the transcends tribulation realm. I'm afraid this little sect will wrong you. Luo Chen Shui also persuaded with a wry smile at this time. He didn't want to develop sect. The addition of Sha Shayu, an elder and two disciples, already made her feel troublesome enough, how could Luo Kai be added? Boom, at this moment, a terrifying monster chi coercion enveloped the entire star soul sect. Brush, 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 Luo Chen Shui, Luo Kai, Bai Tian Hong and Sha Sha Yu all rushed out of the sect with solemn expressions, while the weak Leng Wufang couldn't move at all under the pressure of this terrifying monster chi. Lord Holy Maiden, here we come. However, when the four came to the outside of the sect, Chen Haoyu, Sha Tiantian, Zhao Tianming, Xing Fei and Du Tianyu Wu Tianzhao charged directly towards Luo Chen Shui who was confused. Why are you here? Also, who is that terrifying monster? Luo Chen Shui looked at the five-day arrogant of Xing Jizong and the young man in white with the terrifying monster Qi behind him, and asked with doubts. Lord Holy Maiden, we came here on the order of sect leader, and the five of us will stay in your star soul sect from now on. Chen Haoyu explained happily as he looked at Luo Chen Shui. From now on, their five-day arrogance can be with the younger brother Yi Feng every day. According to Yi Feng's arrogant temperament, will there be fewer epiphany pills, big demon corpse barbecues, etc. It is no exaggeration to say that following Yi Feng, every day is a great opportunity. You want to stay in my star soul sect. However, when Luo Chen Shui heard this, she instantly exploded. Luo Kai had just arrived and the five Tianjiao of the sect had also come over. Isn't this sect completely messed up, how can she still cultivate quietly? No, your five arrogances are the future of the Xingji sect. If you stay with me, you may encounter danger anytime. The Xingji Zong can't bear this loss. You should hurry back to the Xingji Zong. Luo Chen Shui could only persuade again. She's going crazy, a Luo Kai has not finished persuading, another five Tianjiao came, and now she wants someone to tell her what happened, why are so many people running to her? She doesn't want to develop sect, she doesn't want to develop sect, she just wants to cultivate quietly, who is messing with her Tao heart and ruining her cultivation. Holy maiden, we can't decide this, anyway, sect leader said, we will be where the younger brother is. Chen Haoyu was helpless when he saw Luo Chen Shui who was about to drive them away. He didn't understand why Holy Maiden had to drive them away. Little junior brother, who is the younger brother? When Luo Chen Shui heard this, she asked with a confused expression. Junior brother Yi Feng, Lord Holy Maiden, you don't know, after junior brother Yi Feng went to this sect, he fought against more than 200 outer sect disciples in the same realm alone. He became famous in one battle, and was designated as the sixth sect by the five ancestors, core discipline. Speaking of Yi Fang's impressive record, Chen Haoyu was also full of excitement, as if that person was him. Don't worry, Lord Holy Maiden, with me here, no one should dare to provoke me. At this moment, the blood-devouring mantis exuding the terrifying monster Qi stepped forward and said extremely confidently. You are, Luo Chen Shui looked at the other party with a solemn expression and asked directly. Sir Holy Maiden, its body is a blood-devouring mantis, a terrifying monster that has survived two heavenly Tao thunder tribulations transcends tribulation at the pinnacle of ninth stage. According to sect leader, it was when sect leader took his younger brother to heavenly. I caught it on the way to the Tao battlefield teleportation tower, and with it there, no one should dare to come to sect to make trouble. Chen Haoyu explained it directly at this time. Hearing this, Luo Chinzu's face twitched uncontrollably. 
Uncle Luo, your visit this time is probably also related to my prodigal apprentice. Luo Chenshui seemed to finally understand something at this time, she turned to look at Luo Kai and asked directly. This, this, hearing Luo Chinzu's question, Luo Kai also looked embarrassed and didn't know how to answer. Yi Feng, seeing Luo Kai's appearance at this time, Luo Chenshui understood everything, and roared Yi Feng's name frantically in her heart. Just leave for a few days. She couldn't even imagine what her prodigal disciple had done. Luo Kai, the powerful body cultivator of the fourth stage in the Transcends Tribulation realm came over to become an elder, saying that he wanted to have a home. The five arrogances of the sect also ran over, and they must follow the younger brother. On the way to the Heavenly Dao Battlefield Teleportation Tower, I also caught a big monster. How easy is it to catch such a big monster? There should be only her and Bai Lao's sect. After Yi Feng was included in the sect, the situation was completely out of control. The behind-the-scenes boss of Tianyu Auction House is here. Here comes Roka's rogue cultivators. Benzong's five heavenly arrogances are here. The Transcends Tribulation monster is also here. Will there be people or demons coming? Luo Chenshui didn't dare to think about it anymore. Even she was going to wait for Yi Feng to come back, and she would never let him out again. She brought back so many people and demonic beasts in one trip. If she went out a few more times, she felt that she this sect is so frustrating. Lord Holy Maiden, come here. Although he didn't know why Luo Chenshui was so angry, he felt that Luo Chenshui seemed to blame Yi Feng for all the problems. At this time, he felt that he had to tell the news quickly. What's up? After following Chen Haoyu to the side, Luo Chenshui resisted her anger and asked. Master Holy Maiden, you must not blame the younger brother. After all, although he is still your great disciple, he is not only the sixth core discipline of the sect, but also awarded the sect by the five ancestors. Honoring the position of elder, regardless of identity, status, or seniority, is equal to the five ancestors, even your father has to respectfully call ye elder. At this moment, Chen Haoyu hurriedly said all the things sect leader told him before he left. What? After Luo Chenshui heard this, she looked at Chen Haoyu and felt like she was joking with herself. When did Xingjizong have the honorary position of elder? I do not believe. Then tell me, how did that guy Yi Feng get the honorary elder position? Luo Chenshui looked at Chen Haoyu and asked directly, she didn't believe that Yi Feng had gone to this sect at all, and with regard to the strength of Qi realm, what kind of honorable elder could he even become, and even his status and status could be on par with the five great ancestors. Sect leader said, little teacher. No, elder Yi bought it with money, but I don't know how many spirit stones he gave to sect. Chen Haoyu also told the last bit of news he knew. Hearing this, Luo Chenshui instantly exploded with anger. She never thought that Yi Feng would lose her family to such an extent that she went to the sect and bought an honorary elder. Although she didn't know how many spirit stones she used, it was definitely a number she couldn't imagine for the five ancestors to pass unanimously. Um, at this moment, Luo Chenshui took out the sound transmission jade pendant. You little girl, you know that there is a sister like me. After Divine Sense entered the sound transmission jade pendant, Luo Chenshui laughed and scolded. She had always liked this quirky little sister. Sister, you said that I call my master's master Shizu, what do you call him? What is the problem? You haven't contacted me for almost three months, and you have finally contacted me, so just ask this. You are my little sister. Since you are your master, you are also my master. Yao Yao, isn't the question you ask too boring? Luo Chenshui felt that the quirky little sister should not ask such a boring question. Sister, that eldest disciple of yours is my master. He has already accepted my master as his apprentice, and the relationship is a bit messy now. I'll say hello to you in advance. If you want to come to the master and he hasn't gone back, you should think first. Figure out how to deal with these complex relationships. Don't ask me which master, Hua Yumeng, the owner of Wangwa Valley. By the way, he also created a prodigal family. My master is a great disciple, but he is not going to start a sect. His prodigal family is just in name only. After a while, Shizen and I will go to Shizu, sister remember to prepare food for me first. After speaking, Luo Yaoyao smiled and ended the sound transmission directly. Numb. After Luo Chenshui heard these words, her whole body went numb. 
You have provoked a bunch of people to come back without saying anything, and you have made a mess of your own. Have you asked me about this master on your own? But Luo Chenshui couldn't believe it was true when Yi Feng accepted the valley master of Wanwa Valley as his eldest disciple. What was the difference between Yi Feng's acceptance of his father as a disciple? Do you dare to believe that the dignified valley master of Wanwa Valley would worship a junior in the Qi state as his master? Messed up. Totally messed up. Luo Chenshui now has a heart that regrets her death. She shouldn't have included Yi Feng in the sect at the beginning, otherwise, how could so many troublesome things happen, and even many things are beyond her imagination. After calming down for a while, Luo Chenshui tried her best to sort out so much information that she suddenly got, and then took Chen Haoyu to go back again, looked at Luo Kai and smiled, Uncle Luo, since you want to stay in my little place. Little Star Soul Sect, then stay, but I don't have any resources in this sect. It's okay as long as that kid Yi Feng is here. Luo Kai said directly with a laugh. Lord Holy Maiden, we don't need anything, as long as the younger brother is here. Seeing Luo Chen Shui looking over, Chen Haoyu was the first to answer. Elder Sha, please arrange for them. Luo Chen Shui rubbed her forehead and said weakly to Sha Sha Yu. Miss, what the hell is going on? When everyone left, Bai Tianong came over and asked in confusion. It's messed up. It's all messed up. Let's talk about it when Yi Feng comes back. Everything has to do with him. I really don't know what he has done these days when he left. After saying that, Luo Chenshui walked towards the sect with a sad face. Dot dot dot. The other side, Yi Feng walked in the wild for most of the day, and finally saw a town appear in the distance. With a happy face, he accelerated and rushed towards the distant town. A moment later, when Yi Feng entered the town, he learned that there was a distance of more than 300 kilometers from the Xingji sect, so he gave up the idea of returning to the Xingji Zong and prepared to return directly to the Xinghan Zong. But thinking that I can't fly with the sword, I'm afraid I won't be able to return to the Star Soul sect without more than 20 days, and it's still a matter of not going the wrong way and not encountering special circumstances on the way, under the premise. Have to think of a way. Thinking about this question, Yi Feng wandered around the town. Fortune telling, I am the elder of Tianji Pavilion, proficient in the mysteries of the sky, as long as you invite the old man to eat a full meal and drink a good wine, I will give you a good fortune, only one person, if you miss it, you really miss it. Um, while wandering around, Yi Feng heard this, and followed the voice to look over. An old man with shabby clothes and messy hair was shouting hard with a broken pole. There was a word on the broken pole, the number one in the world. God calculates. Fantasy world still has such swaggering old gods. With curiosity, Yi Feng prepared to go over and let the other party calculate a hexagram for himself. It doesn't matter if he is deceived or not, mainly because Yi Feng likes such mysterious and mysterious things. Although I was an overtime dog in my last life, I don't mind spending one or two hundred to let the other party do the math for me if I hear about someone who is very accurate. Little brother, don't be fooled by that old man. He has deceived a lot of people these days. Have you seen his blue and purple face? He was beaten up. When Yi Feng was less than 10 meters away from the old magic stick, a strong man with a righteous face stopped him and persuaded him. Thanks, Dage, but I just let him do the math, and I don't ask him how accurate it is. Thanks a lot, Yi Feng continued to walk towards the old magic stick. Little brother, I feel that the two of us are destined. But I also have my own rules, I eat first and then tell my fortune. Seeing Yi Feng coming over, the old god stick said directly with a look like an expert outside the world. No problem, you choose the restaurant. Um, seeing Yi Feng so straightforward, the old magic stick was also taken aback for a moment, then looked at Yi Feng with a smile, and took him directly to a restaurant not far away. Entering the restaurant, Yi Feng directly asked the second shopkeeper to open a guest room, and even told the shopkeeper to serve all the good wines and dishes in the restaurant, revealing his wealth and wealth incisively and vividly. Little brother is arrogant, I'm not polite to the old man. Seeing that Yi Feng ordered so many good wines and good dishes, the old god sticks mouth crooked when he smiled. After half an hour, satisfied with food and drink, the old god stick directly let Yi Feng squeeze out a drop of blood, and then released a trace of spirit power to wrap the drop of blood, closed his eyes, and began to count with his fingers. 
This is exactly the same as the old god stick in my mind. Looking at the old magician opposite, Yi Feng couldn't help laughing. Don't worry about whether it's accurate or not, this suit's pretentious posture is absolutely perfect. Ding. The system scans that there are special forces checking the fate of the host, and the antivirus function is automatically turned on. Ding. Antivirus successful. Puff. Hearing the system beeping sound one after another, and looking at the old magic stick who was spitting out blood in front of him, Yi Feng was completely dumbfounded. Who the hell said this old man was a liar? Why are they really capable? They have automatically activated the system's antivirus function. I have to say that Yi Feng has to thank the old god in front of him for letting him know a hidden function of the system. Yu Yu. At this time, the old god stick wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth, and looked up at Yi Feng with a pale face, but he couldn't say a complete sentence, his eyes were full of endless horror. Because Yi Feng was the one who really invited him to eat and drink these days, Zhou Tong was ready to help him do the math. Who would have thought that just as he was about to check Yi Feng's fortune and happiness for the next month through the heavenly mystery technique? At the time of bad luck, he suddenly suffered from an extremely domineering force. Just one blow almost wiped out his soul. Even so, his soul was severely damaged at this time. Senior, I'm really sorry, because of some special reasons of mine, your soul has been severely damaged. I happen to have a spiritual herbs here. I think it should be able to help Senior restore his injured spirit as soon as possible. Yi Feng was also a little unhappy when he saw the appearance of the old magician at this time. After all, they really didn't lie to him. They really wanted to help him calculate the luck and fate. Did not respond. Nine leaves reviving soul grass. When Zhou Tong saw the spiritual herbs that Yi Feng took out, he exclaimed directly. Little brother, you, do you know how precious this nine-leaf soul rejuvenation grass is? Although it is of great help to me in restoring my soul, it is a waste of its medicinal effect, not to mention that this kind of spiritual herbs is extremely rare. If you sell it to a ninth-grade pill refining master, you will get the reward. Absolutely beyond your imagination. Also, if you don't have the power to protect yourself, don't take it out, otherwise it may bring you a fatal disaster. After the shock, Zhou Tong did not take the nine-leaf soul returning grass, but directly persuaded Yi Feng to put it away as soon as possible. Although the soul was severely injured, taking some other medicine pills to heal the soul, it took two or three years to fully recover, and there would be no sequelae. Not to mention the nine-leaf soul returning grass. This old stickman is not bad. Yi Feng didn't expect this old god to know the preciousness of the nine-leaf herbs, but instead of accepting it, he explained the preciousness of the spiritual herbs to him. Senior, I know the situation of this nine-leaf soul rejuvenating grass. You can take it as long as you can. Otherwise, I may use it to soak your feet one day. You don't know, this thing is very comfortable to soak your feet. With that said, Yi Feng directly stuffed the nine-leaf soul rejuvenation grass into Zhou Tong's hand. That nine-leaf soul returning grass soaks feet. So old and comfortable. Play. However, Zhou Tong shook his head and laughed when he heard what he said. He thought that Yi Feng was just joking with him, or using this kind of rhetoric to make him feel at ease to accept such a precious nine-leaf soul returning grass. However, thinking that Yi Feng was shrouded in a mysterious dark layer, Zhou Tong thought about it and still accepted the nine-leaf resurrection grass, and immediately took a leaf and put it in his mouth. Since he chooses to accept it, it will be used to restore the injured soul, and there is no need to think about whether it is a waste. Otherwise, after accepting it, he will use other methods to restore the injured soul, and Zhou Tong cannot afford to lose that person. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully digging out two hidden functions of the system, rewarded with 10,000 prodigal points, rewarded with 9-leaf soul returning grass 100, and Tianxuan secret technique epiphany pill 100. This is also a reward. I wonder what rewards will be given for discovering more hidden functions in the future. Tianxuan's secret technique epiphany pill, it seems that this celestial mystery technique is not simple. Otherwise, such an epiphany pill would not appear alone. I am afraid that my previous epiphany pills would not be able to understand this heavenly mystery technique. Through the reward, Yi Feng also gained a new understanding of the sky mystery of the old god stick in front of him. Chapter 51. After an hour. As expected of the nine-leaf soul returning grass, if those old guys knew that I ate the legendary spiritual herbs raw, I'm afraid I would have the heart to kill me. 
Looking at the soul returning grass with only rhizomes left, Zhou Tong felt that this was definitely the most extravagant thing he had ever done in his life. Um, could it be that the medicinal effect of a nine-leaf soul returning grass did not completely heal his wounded soul? Looking at Zhou Tong's melancholy face, Yi Feng directly took out 29-leaf soul returning grasses from the system space and patted them on the table, saying, Senior, is it because the wounded soul has not been completely healed, then continue to eat it, this is I'm full of stuff. Um, looking at the 29-leaf soul rejuvenating grasses on the table, Zhou Tong's whole body went numb, and the words echoed in his mind, this thing is enough. What kind of stuff is this stuff? After a few minutes. Hiss. Putting both feet into the foot basin soaked in the nine-leaf soul returning grass, both Yi Feng and Zhou Tong trembled violently, feeling a clear current flowing through the soul, and the feeling of relief cannot be expressed in words. Senior, it's up to you to read it. It doesn't matter what legends are or not, but it's just a spiritual herbs. People live forever, so naturally they should enjoy it and enjoy it, right? Yi Feng looked at Zhou Tong, who directly accepted that he wanted to soak his feet with the nine-leaf resurrection grass, as if he had met a confidant. Transparent, little friend, you live a transparent life. People live forever, it should be like this, it should be like this. After laughing, Zhou Tong turned his head to the side, but showed a very painful look. He thought that Yi Feng was joking, so he responded casually. Whoever thought that the other party was so serious? Eating a nine-leaf rejuvenation grass raw, he felt that he was guilty. Now he even uses nine-leaf soul rejuvenating grass to soak his feet. His old stinky feet are not worthy of it at all. Elder Zhou, are you really the elder of Tianji Pavilion? It can be said that Tianji Pavilion is definitely one of the most mysterious forces in Xuandian continent, so Yi Feng is also extremely curious about the identity of the old man. If it's true, why should the dignified heavenly secret pavilion elder, possessing the mysteries of the sky, be an old magician and swindle all over the place? If it is fake, then why does the other party use the heavenly mystery technique? Yes, I am indeed one of the elders of Tianji Pavilion. When I came to Maple Leaf City this time, I also have a mission. As for the mission, it is inconvenient to tell the little friend. Zhou Tong directly admitted his identity. But Yi Feng suddenly developed a strong interest in the task that Zhou Tong said. System, can you find out what this Zhou Tong's mission is? Now that Zhou Tong has said so, Yi Feng can't continue to ask other people's tasks no matter how curious he is, so he can only try to ask the system. Ding. The spy on the secret function is activated, if the conditions are met, the spy on the secret function is turned on. With the sound of the system prompt, a message about this function also emerged in Yi Feng's mind. It turns out that because of my inquiry, although the function of peeping into the secrets has been activated, if you want to activate it, you must suffer a power of spy on the secrets to successfully activate this function, and Zhou Tong used the mystery of the sky before to spy on the secrets a kind of power that directly satisfies the conditions for enabling this function. Looking at Zhou Tong next to him, Yi Feng also showed a wry smile. Although the other party didn't know anything, he really helped him. As a prodigal hero, how could he not do something good to the other party? Old Zhou, thank you for your kindness, these five heavenly profound technique epiphany pills have been collected. Um, looking down at the medicine pill in half black and half white in his hand, Zhou Tong was also confused. What kind of gratitude? What have I done? What have you to thank me for? You gave me the nine-leaf soul returning grass to heal the wounded soul, and you generously used the nine-leaf soul returning grass to invite me to soak my feet. I have never experienced such an extravagant life in my life. Shouldn't it be me thanking you? And many more. Zhou Tong suddenly looked at Yi Feng and asked, what did you just say medicine pill is called? Old Joe, you may feel unbelievable, but this medicine pill is a very special kind of medicine pill. After swallowing, you can immediately enter the realm of epiphany, but you can only understand the mystery of the sky, which is more restrictive. More restrictive, do you know how difficult it is to find a person who is suitable for cultivating the mystery of the sky among the hundreds of billions of people in the entire Shwandian continent? Do you know how mysterious the celestial mysteries are and how difficult it is to comprehend? If this medicine pill is true, then there is no restriction at all, and it has to be guarded as the top treasure in the Tianji Pavilion. As a result, you still dislike it. Looking at Yi Feng with a look of disgust, 
Zhou Tong was about to cry, is this something that can be disliked? In the end, Zhou Tong tearfully swallowed a Tianxuan secret technique epiphany pill, whether it is true or not, you will know after a try. Boom. As an aura of epiphany emerged from Zhou Tong's body, Zhou Tong glanced at Yi Feng with a look of horror, and quickly closed his eyes to cultivate. System, use the function of spy on the secrets to inquire about what mission Elder Zhou has come to Maple Leaf City this time. The spying function is used three times a day, and the number of times will not accumulate. Yi Feng is also considering whether to use it on Zhou Tong for the remaining two times. Ding! Zhou Tong came to Maple Leaf City this time because he was ordered by the Pavilion Master of Tianji Pavilion to come to find the Holy Maiden of Tianji Pavilion. Um, hearing the system's voice, Yi Feng's expression changed slightly. He did not expect that Zhou Tong's mission this time would be so fierce. Ding! Post a random quest, find Holy Maiden, and kidnap the other party into a prodigal disciple. If the quest is successful, a lot of prodigal points will be rewarded. If the quest fails, a lot of prodigal points will be deducted. You can refuse. Just when Yi Feng was a little surprised by Zhou Tong's mission, he didn't expect the system to release a random mission. System, why do you play so fancy? Looking at Zhou Tong, who was comprehending the mystery of the sky, Yi Feng also smiled bitterly, isn't this digging a corner? System, use the function of spy on the secrets to inquire about the name and location of Holy Maiden in the Heavenly Secret Pavilion. Yi Feng directly used today's second spying function at this time. Twenty minutes later, little friend, how much of this epiphany pill do you have, no matter what the cost, I bought it at Tianji Pavilion. After the epiphany was over, Zhou Tong couldn't wait to ask. It was true that the effect of this epiphany pill was too terrifying for those who cultivated the occult, far beyond his imagination. I do have some in my hand, but I can't sell it to you. Yi Feng shook his head and directly rejected Zhou Tong's purchase request. After all, he still has great use for the mysterious technique epiphany pill these days. Why, Zhou Tong can't understand, don't you dislike this thing? Now we Tianji spend a lot of money to buy things you dislike, shouldn't you be very happy? Because I want to keep it for Yiling She. Yi Feng directly showed up at this time, and also figured out how to cooperate with Tianji Pavilion to cultivate Yiling Shui's idea. What? Hearing this, Zhou Tong's face changed, and his eyes towards Yi Feng were instantly filled with hostility. Yiling She. This name is exactly the name of Holy Maiden that the Pavilion Master of Tianji Pavilion told him. Elder Zhou, you don't have to be nervous, and you don't have to be so hostile to me. Actually, I have a very good proposal, which is to let Yiling She join our respective forces at the same time. You are responsible for guiding her to cultivate the Heavenly Mystery Technique, and I am responsible for providing her with the Heavenly Mysterious Technique Epiphany Pill. Looking at Zhou Tong who was full of hostility, Yi Feng said with a slow smile. Impossible, my Heavenly Secret Pavilion, Holy Maiden, will never join other forces. However, after listening to it, Zhou Tong refused directly, and there was absolutely no room for negotiation. If that's the case, let's do our part. Smiling, Yi Feng took his feet out of the foot basin, put on his shoes, and left the guest room directly. You, who are you? Why do you want to snatch my Holy Maiden from the Heavenly Secret Pavilion? Looking at Yi Feng who was leaving, Zhou Tong's expression also became serious. If it was someone else, he would have been slapped to death, but for the mysterious Yi Feng, he didn't dare to shoot. No, I have to hurry out and look for Holy Maiden, I mustn't let this kid find it first. After putting on his shoes, Zhou Tong quickly ran out of the room. After a while, Yi Feng came to the east gate of Maple Leaf City. According to the system's prompt, Yi Ling She would soon come to Maple Leaf City, and he entered at this east gate. That Zhou Tong is pitiful enough. After several days of searching in vain, he hasn't come to this Maple Leaf City yet. He can't even figure it out. This Tianji Pavilion doesn't look very good. Yi Feng could not help but doubt the strength of Tianji Pavilion at this time. Two hours later, as a young woman wearing a black Taoist robe appeared from the East Gate, Yi Feng's eyes quickly fell on the other side. Delicate facial features, slender thighs, and a proud figure. Female disciple with still charm. Young and beautiful female disciple. Li Fei, if we are destined to meet again on the battlefield of Heavenly Dao, 
I'm afraid I won't be able to put you in the family, because you are no longer worthy, and you are destined to be a younger brother. Thinking of this, Yi Feng walked directly towards Yi Ling Shei with a handsome smile. Um, is something wrong? Seeing a handsome and handsome young man blocking his own way, Yi Ling Shei asked directly with a frown. Introduce myself, my name is Yi Feng, and I am the sect master of the prodigal family. Today, you and I are destined to accept you as a disciple of the sect. I wonder if you are willing. Puff, after hearing Yi Feng's words, Yi Ling Shei couldn't help laughing. She didn't expect that someone would give sect such a ridiculous name. Childish, arrogant, overcome, this was Yi Ling Shui's first impression of Yi Feng. Master Yemen, it seems that you only have the strength of the peak of the ninth stage, right? Of course, everyone has their own goals. Even if this strength creates their own sect, it's understandable, but I just want to ask, why do you want to include me in your sect to become your disciple? Did you know that my cultivation base has reached the Foundation Establishment Realm 8th stage? Yi Ling She looked at Yi Feng with ridicule in her eyes and asked directly. Foundation Establishment Realm 8th stage. Then your strength is indeed a bit low. After all, your senior sister has the strength of the peak of the ninth stage and the transcends tribulation realm, but the gap is a bit big. But you don't have to be too inferior. After all, we don't pay attention to strength, we can improve slowly, don't worry. After Yi Feng heard this, he pondered with a serious look on his face, and finally said something like this. Question mark question mark question mark. Foundation Establishment Realm 8th stage is still low, it's almost higher than your two realms, okay. There is also a senior sister at the pinnacle of 9th stage in the Transcends Tribulation Realm. Do you think I look like a fool? Self-abasement, I have low self-esteem, your sister, you are handsome, but there is something wrong with your brain. Yi Ling She felt that she stopped and talked to a big idiot for so long, she was simply making fun of herself. If you ask me why I let you in, then I'll tell you that there are spirit stones and countless spirit stones as a teacher. In the future, all the cultivation resources that you will need for cultivation, the teacher can help you solve it. Hum, after speaking, Yi Feng also showed a confident smile, after all, he has never failed to use wealth to force. Hey, hey, didn't you hear what I just said? You don't play cards according to the routine, are you trying to play hard against me? Yi Ling She, who was about to leave immediately, stopped abruptly when she heard this, her eyes were full of endless anger. Hard to catch, I'm playing hard to get to you. What do you, a big idiot, have to do for me? Okay, you said that you have countless spirit stones, then don't say that I won't give you a chance, as long as you can come up with 100 million top quality spirit stones, I, Yi Ling She, will become a teacher and join the prodigal door you created. Coercion, you keep on pretending. It's silly to hear 100 million premium spirit stones. Don't say 100 million, I'm afraid you haven't even seen the best spirit stones. Looking at Yi Feng who was stunned in place, Yi Ling She showed a sneer, and her eyes were full of disdain. Luo Chen Shui. I'm familiar with this story, girl, don't be fooled, he's not being frightened, he's definitely thinking about how he can offer such a low price. I personally passed on the identity of the eldest disciple and was bought by the other party. Ah. Small, your pattern is too small. Compared with your senior sister, it's really too far behind. But after being stunned, Yi Feng looked at Yi Ling She but was full of disappointment. He couldn't guarantee that Yi Ling She would suddenly be enlightened just like Hua Yumong. Take it, take it, and treat it as a gift to you from the teacher. Seeing Yi Feng handing him an interspatial ring in disappointment, Yi Ling She was stunned. Yi Ling She cried when she saw the high quality spirit stones in the interspatial ring through divine sense. She doesn't want to join any prodigal family. She also doesn't want to worship this young man who is much lower than her cultivation base as her teacher. But what to do now? She never dreamed that the other party could really come up with so many top quality spirit stones, so many top quality spirit stones, she didn't even dare to dream, who would have thought that a little guy with aerodynamic realm could take it out? or, slap to death and run away with 100 million top quality spirit stones. Thinking of this, Yi Ling She shook her head violently. If she did this, it would definitely affect her Tao heart. Unless she was willing to stay stuck in the void realm in the future, once she broke through to the transcends tribulation realm, she would definitely be attacked by the thunder tribulation. Can't stop. 
and many more. Yi Lingxie suddenly thought of one thing at this time, that is the senior sister that Yi Feng kept mentioning. Could it be that there is really a senior sister at the peak of the ninth stage in the Transcends Tribulation realm? If it is true, then the senior sister can join, what else can she not join, this may be a great opportunity to own. Master Yemen, you said that I'm far from the eldest sister, so I don't know how many spirit stones the eldest sister asked for. Yi Lingxie looked at Yi Feng and asked curiously. It's also 100 million. But what your senior sister wants is 100 million top grade spirit crystals, do you know that spirit crystals are top grade spirit crystals? To be honest, even if it is the 100 million top grade spirit crystals that your senior sister wants, I feel that the layout is too small. Hearing Yi Ling Shui's question, Yi Feng answered it very seriously. After all, it was related to his status as a prodigal prodigy. Hiss. Yi Ling Shui couldn't help but gasped after hearing the 100 million top grade spirit crystals. 100 million top quality spirit stones are all that she dares not dream of, let alone 100 million top quality spirit crystals. She has heard of that kind of thing. It is said that even the many major forces in Xuantian continent store their own top quality spirits. Crystals are extremely limited, which shows the rarity of top quality spirit crystals. Master Yemen, there is no basis for saying that, as long as you can show me 100 million top quality spirit crystals, I will agree to join the prodigal family and worship you as my teacher. It took a full three minutes for Yi Ling Shui to calm down her own mood, and then she looked at Yi Feng and said her own thoughts directly. Give you. He took the interspatial ring thrown by Yi Feng and released divine sense to see the dense spiritual crystals inside, and felt the pure spiritual qi contained in it. Yi Ling Shui was completely convinced. Money can make a ghost run. 100 million top quality spirit crystals is enough to drive a peak powerhouse of the ninth stage in the transcends tribulation realm crazy. Disciple Yi Ling Shui, see Master. Yi Ling Shui was also a person who kept his promises. After returning the interspatial ring containing 100 million top grade spirit crystals to Yi Feng, he knelt down and shouted, completely ignoring the surprised eyes of passers by around him. Ding! Congratulations to the host for completing the random task and rewarding 30,000 prodigal points. Ding! Congratulations to the host for having a second disciple. According to the disciple's situation, he will be rewarded with Tianxuan Secret Technique Epiphany Dan 10,000 and Karma Dao Pattern 1. Karma Dao Pattern. After fusion, it can resist to a certain extent the karma that has been blessed in itself because of prying eyes. When Yi Feng learned about the effect of Karma's Dao Pattern, he immediately burst into foul language. It's really that this Karma's Dao Pattern is so fierce that it can resist karma. As a fan, karma is absolutely terrifying. Yi Ling Shui, Although you joined the prodigal family as a teacher, we don't have a mountain insect, you just need to remember this identity. The people in Tianji Pavilion have been looking for you because they spy on Tianji. Your destiny is to be the holy maiden of Tianji Pavilion. I will not stop you, because you need to learn their secrets. There are 10,000 Xuantian secret technique epiphany pills in it. After swallowing it, you can immediately enter the state of enlightenment, but you can only realize the heavenly mystery technique. Once you encounter a bottleneck on the way of cultivation, take it directly. You don't need to save too much. Without a teacher, I am trying to find a way to get it for you. Speaking of which, Yi Fang's right hand was suddenly placed on Yi Ling Shui's right arm, and mysterious golden runes began to appear on his right arm in the black robe, and Yi Ling Shui also felt his right arm at this time. An unknown force emerged. This is the Karma Dao pattern given to you by the Master, and the secrets of the sky will definitely be contaminated with karma. This Karma Dao pattern can help you resist karma to a certain extent. In the future, you must be careful when you use the heavenly mysteries to see the secrets of the heavens. Silly. Hearing what Yi Feng said, Yi Ling Shui was completely dumbfounded. Heavenly Secret Pavilion Holy Maiden. The Secret Method of Cultivation Tianji Pavilion. Xuantian Secret Technique Epiphany Pill. Karma Dao Pattern. After a full 10 minutes, Yi Ling Shui finally sorted out everything. Although she still doesn't know how terrifying the heavenly mysterious technique Epiphany Dan and Karma Dao one that Yi Feng gave her, she knew that it was definitely a good thing. Master, don't worry, the disciples will definitely work hard to cultivate in the Tianji Pavilion, take the Tianji Pavilion in their hands as soon as possible, and make the Tianji Pavilion a vassal force of our prodigal family. 
Ye Lingxie looked at Ye Feng firmly as if she had guessed Ye Feng's plan. Um, take control of Tianji Pavilion and make Tianji Pavilion a vassal force of the prodigal family. What is going on in my disciple's mind, daddy doesn't mean that. Ye Lingxie, being a teacher is not. Just when Ye Feng wanted to explain, Ye Lingxie interrupted directly and asked with a serious face, Master, does senior sister also occupy a high position in a powerful force? Ah, uh, um, thinking that Hua Yumeng is the owner of Wanwa Valley, and Wanwa Valley is a transcendent force above Xingjizong, which is indeed in line with Ye Lingxue's problem, Ye Feng also nodded and admitted in a daze. Seeing Ye Feng's answer in the affirmative, Ye Lingxie also showed a smug smile, as if seeing through the chess game that Ye Feng was controlling the entire Xuantian continent in the next game, she said directly, Master, don't worry, this disciple is absolutely right. I won't let you down, and I will definitely do better than Big Sister. Um, what, your senior sister is the owner of the Valley of Flowers. What has she done, what are you better than her? Ye Feng was stunned. He felt that his own brain seemed to be unable to keep up with the rhythm at all. Master, where are the people from Tianji Pavilion? You tell me his location, I approach him quietly, and then deliberately create an opportunity for the other party to find me, and then I can go to Tianji Pavilion with him, as long as I successfully become the holy maiden of Tianji Pavilion, our goal is half achieved. Now, leave the rest to your disciple. Yi Lingxie became more and more excited now, as if she had found her purpose in life. What, are you doing a spy movie here? Listening to Yi Lingxue's series of plans, Yi Feng listened to the first two big ones. You just need to remember that you are a disciple of the prodigal family. The rest is what you should do, and you will be fine if you have nothing to do with the prodigal family, can be rewarded. But you always want to control the Tianji Pavilion, and then make the Tianji Pavilion a vassal force of the prodigal family. What are you going to do? No, she has to explain it clearly. Thinking of this, Yi Feng looked at Yi Lingxie and said, Ling Shui, I feel like you have misunderstood something, but actually. Before Yi Feng could finish speaking, Yi Lingxie interrupted Yi Feng's words again, stretched out her right index finger in front of her mouth and made a gesture of silence, and said, Master, this disciple understands, please also ask Master to believe in this disciple. Can you stop adding drama to yourself, you really understand what? Hearing Yi Ling Shui's words, Yi Feng was completely mad. Is this a disciple or an actor? Oscar owes you a golden statue. Come on, see that sloppy old godstick, he is the elder of Tianji Pavilion. At this moment, Yi Feng saw Zhou Tong appearing in the distance. For some unknown reason, he suddenly felt relieved, as if he had seen a savior. He really couldn't get into Yi Ling Shui's self-directed and self-acted play. Don't listen to own explanation at all. The number one god in the world. Master, God help us, I'll go to him to figure it out, he won't know who I am. Master, the disciple is gone, I will never disappoint you. After speaking, Yi Ling Shui walked quickly towards Zhou Tong in the distance. It doesn't matter, she can play whatever she wants, and let Tianji Pavilion have a headache. I can't fix it. Seeing Yi Ling Shui leaving, Yi Feng also gave up completely. After a while, when Yi Feng saw Zhou Tong in the distance, he glanced at himself like a thief, and then quickly left with Yi Ling Shui, the whole person went numb. This is really taken by Yi Ling Shui into the play. As for whether Yi Ling Shui will be brainwashed by Tianji Pavilion, and finally betray the family and betray him, to be honest, he doesn't care at all, after all, it is the loss of the other party, he will not lose anything, it is nothing more than a few people who brush rewards that's it. Wait, did I forget something? Looking at Zhou Tong and Yi Ling Shui who had completely disappeared into the crowd, Yi Feng slapped his forehead and cursed. What the hell, I forgot to turn on the sect voice transmission and sect transmission functions for Yi Ling Shui. Forget it, let's talk about it when we have a chance to meet you later. Thinking of Yi Ling Shui's upper body, Yi Feng felt that it was better to stay away from the other party for the time being. Looking at the Dongcheng gate not far away, Yi Feng pondered for a moment and walked directly towards the city gate. No matter how long it took, he still had to rely on his own legs to return to the Star Soul sect. The city gate is hundreds of meters away. Humph. You stinky brat still wants to snatch Holy Maiden from our Tianji Pavilion, but I didn't find it first. After discovering that Yi Feng had left Maple Leaf City through the powerful divine sense, Zhou Tong also became complacent. 
This old magic stick is really old for nothing, and being played around by my master, he even thought he had the upper hand. It's ridiculous that you just said that you have been looking for me here for several days. It seems that this Tianji pavilion is not as mysterious as rumored, and it is not as powerful as my master, at least my master counts that I will come to Maple Leaf today. City, and have been waiting at the East City Gate for a long time. At this time, Yi Ling She realized Yi Feng's many strengths, and felt that being able to worship Yi Feng as a teacher was simply a great blessing for her own. Dot dot dot. I don't know how long it took to drive, but as the sky gradually darkened, Yi Feng also began to look for temporary accommodation. He didn't like to travel at night. Finally, after the sky darkened completely, Yi Feng found a cave. Although it was dark and damp inside, Yi Feng was very satisfied. Ten minutes later, looking at the spirit stone's bed that he had piled up with the best spirit stones, Yi Feng's face was full of pride. As a prodigal hero, even if the environment was bad, he must not be wrong. Comfortable. After lying down on the spacious spirit stone's bed, Yi Feng soon felt a little tired under the shroud of the rich spiritual chi, and soon fell asleep and went to play games with the immobilized seven fairies. Outside the cave. Unlucky. Another day in vain, and I didn't even encounter a single demonic beast. A young man dressed in luxurious clothes was full of displeased expressions, and the fat old man who followed him heard this and looked at the young man with a look of disgust and disdain in his eyes. Young master, if it doesn't work, let's go back to the villa. At this time, the fat old man persuaded the young man. If it wasn't for the owner of the village, he would disdain to be the protector of the youth. Duo is a waste. If it hadn't been for this level of identity, I'm afraid I wouldn't know how many times I would have died. Old fatty, are you teaching me to do things? When Zhang Hang heard this, he stared at the fat old man with a gloomy expression and asked aloud. Don't dare. The fat old hurriedly bowed his head and apologized, but there was a ferocious light in his eyes. He wanted to slap the other party to death directly, but his reason told him not to do that, or he would definitely suffer the endless pursuit of the villa owner. Hey, there is a cave over there, I will rest there today. If you don't kill a few demonic beasts and go back, those fools really think I may waste. With that said, Zhang Heng walked towards the cave not far away. Humph, eighth stage's strength in the spirit sea realm, even if you encounter demonic beasts, you still won't let me take action. Even if you go back with the corpses of powerful demonic beasts, do you really think someone will believe you? It's ridiculous to hide your ears and steal the bell, without your father, I'm afraid there is no place for you in the villa. After venting his indignation, the fat old man hurriedly chased after him. Shish, however, when he reached the entrance of the cave, Zhang Heng suddenly signaled the old man to keep quiet, and then pointed to the inside of the cave. With the help of the faint moonlight, when Fat Lao saw the spirit stone's bed in the cave, which was half a meter high, two meters long, and one meter five wide, he was also shocked, and then the corners of his mouth twitched uncontrollably. There is no doubt that the young man lying on the spirit stone's bed made of top quality spirit stones is definitely an ignorant prodigal. I learned it, I really learned it this time around. The guy in there is definitely a genius. How could I not think of the idea of using spirit stones to build a spirit stone's bed? Thinking of myself sleeping in the wild or in a dark and damp cave for the past two days, I feel that I am too far away from the other party's realm. Learnt. What kind of learning is this, you have learned something good. Hearing Zhang He's words, the old man was so angry that he even shook uncontrollably by his chubby body full of fat. However, after learning, those are the best spirit stones. Thinking of this, Zhang Hang directly ordered fat old. Kill him immediately, I'm going to sleep on that spirit stone's bed tonight. Young master, the identity of the opponent is not simple, there may be a guardian of the opponent nearby, and now we have not shown any hostility, but if we want to kill the opponent in the past, maybe the opponent is hiding in the dark, whoever will take action. And I used divine sense to check the surrounding kilometer range, but I didn't find anything. Either the other party has no guardian, or the other party's guardian is stronger than me. To be on the safe side, let's leave. Although the probability of a crisis is not high, after all, the old fat is still very confident in his own strength, but he must ensure 100% safety. Once Zhang Hang has an accident, the villa owner will not forgive him lightly. 
The old man has a son, and the owner of the village is far more doting on Zhang Heng than others imagine. I said kill him, I'm going to sleep in that spirit stone's bed tonight, I don't want to say it a third time. Zhang Heng's face became more and more gloomy when he saw that the fat old man was disobeying his own decision again. It is good, seeing that Zhang Heng was completely angry, the fat old walked into the cave helplessly, and hit the sleeping Yi Feng with a palm containing a huge spiritual chi. Brush, in the gloom, a golden blade flashed by, not only smashing the palm of the fat old spirit power, but also directly severing the fat old and Zhang Heng at the entrance of the cave. It's dangerous, I almost let these two fools disturb my master's rest. What is this? The strong man in golden armor grabbed the red light that burst out from the body of the dead Zhang Heng, looked at the red bug in his hand that wanted to break free, and threw it directly at Yi Feng with a flick of his hand. The mother-child bug that can be tracked, this is a bit interesting. It just creates some trouble for my lord. In this case, I should be able to come out and get some air soon. Seeing that the red bug bit Yi Feng's arm and died immediately, the big man in golden armor also smashed the void and disappeared into the cave. Early the next morning, after Yi Feng woke up from the spirit stone's bed, he said to himself, in the future, we must prepare some comfortable mattresses in the system space. Otherwise, the spirit stone's bed is comfortable, but it is too embarrassing. Name, Yi Feng. Age, 18. Realm, Aerodynamic 9th Stage Pinnacle. Physique, Mortal, Martial Skill. Human Level Top Grade Martial Skill Fire Dragon Fist. Earth Level Top Grade Martial Skill Juyao Lei Lian. Earth Grade Top Grade Martial Skill Water Dragon Roar. Earth Grade Top Grade Martial Skill Keizumi Kuangsha. Mood, Death Sword Heart. Supernatural Powers, None. Items, Epiphany Pill 120, Nine Leaf Reviving Soul Grass 95, Golden Silkworm Star Shining Stone 15, Purple Thunder Wild Lion Blood Essence 280, Advanced Swordsman Shard 4, Heavenly Mystery Epiphany Pill 95. Prodigal Point, 141,010. Today's Prodigal Product, 6th Rank 9th Order Tianle Talisman 10,000. By the way, I still have 95 Tianxuan Secret Realm Epiphany pills left, but the 10,000 pills for Yiling Shei should be enough for a short period of time. The Thunder Talisman of the 6th rank, isn't this equivalent to the full blow of the 9th stage cultivator in the Purple Palace? The Prodigal Point has reached more than 140,000, and it's time to raise a wave of strength. Thinking of this, Yi Feng directly said to the system. Consume 9,000 prodigal points to break through the strength to the peak of 9th stage in the 9th stage. Boom. As Yi Feng's voice fell, the surrounding spiritual qi became violently turbulent in an instant, and Yi Feng's body turned into a terrifying black hole, and began to frantically suck and devour the surrounding spiritual qi. Ten seconds later, Yi Feng's breath successfully broke through from the peak of the aerodynamic 9th stage to the first stage of the fusion spirit. 30 seconds later, the second stage of the fusion spirit realm. 1 minute and 10 seconds, the third stage of the spirit fusion realm. Dot dot dot. After an unknown amount of time, Yi Feng felt that his own cultivation base successfully broke through to the peak of the ninth stage, and then said to the system again, consume 90,000 prodigal points to break through the strength to the peak of the foundation establishment realm ninth stage. A radius of 100 meters. A square kilometer. As Yi Feng continued to make breakthroughs, the scope of influence also began to expand wildly. Under the view, Yi Feng found that his ocean and spirit sea was also shaking violently at this time, the waves were turbulent, the spirit sea was monstrous, and the continuous stream of spirit power began to gather frantically, and a nine-petal lotus flower condensed from pure spiritual qi was gradually taking shape. With the complete formation of the lotus platform, Spiritual qi in the ocean and the outside world are still continuously integrated into it, and the formed lotus platform is getting bigger and bigger at a speed visible to the naked eye. I don't know how long it took, when the last drop of spiritual qi in the ocean of spirits melted into the huge lotus platform, and the spiritual qi in the outside world no longer appeared, the nine-petal lotus platform bloomed instantly, and a breath of breakthrough also came from Yi Fangs. The body exploded. The lotus blossoms, and the foundation establishment is completed. Next, is the crazy breakthrough. Foundation establishment realm second stage. Foundation establishment realm third stage. Dot dot dot. Call, 
When the cultivation base finally stabilized at the peak of the foundation establishment realm ninth stage, Yi Feng also breathed a sigh of relief. This feeling of breaking through two big realms one after another, one word, cool. It's a pity, I am so shocked by the breakthrough of ancient and modern, there is no one witness, who? What's the matter, there are two more corpses in one sleep. At this time, Yi Feng finally found the bodies of Fat Lao and Zhang Heng near the entrance of the cave, which were cut off. My breakthrough in the past and present was completed under the witness of two corpses, do you dare to be a little bit more stubborn? If the two inexplicably appeared corpses were discovered early, Yi Feng would not mind leaving here before making a breakthrough. Ignoring the two corpses, Yi Feng put all the top quality spirit stones on the ground that built the spirit stones bed into the system space, and left the cave directly. As for the two corpses, you don't have to think about it to know that they must have wanted to kill him while he was sleeping, but they were directly dealt with by the golden armored man of the prodigal guard. Apart from this, Yi Feng couldn't think of the second situation. And only the prodigal guard will take into account that they are sleeping, and they will not disturb themselves when they kill each other. That's, the Chamber of Commerce. After leaving the cave, Yi Feng suddenly found out that there was a business guild team with more than 100 people in front. Especially after seeing that there were several carriages in the team, Yi Feng felt that he had to join a wave of caravans. Stop. The caravan leader looked at a young man who was blocking his way in front of him. Even though he realized that the other party was only the cultivation base at the peak of the foundation establishment realm ninth stage, he still released his divine sense with a dignified expression and looked around. Who are you? Why are you blocking our way? The inquiry was fruitless, Meng Tangyu's eyes fell on Yi Feng again and asked directly. My lord, I want to join the caravan, and I. Before Yi Feng could finish speaking, Meng Tangyu interrupted directly. Do you think I will let someone who doesn't know the details join the caravan at will? Keep going. After speaking, Meng Tangyu waved his hand and continued to walk forward with the caravan. Caravan, why didn't I think of it before? It seems that when I get to the next town, I have to find a way to temporarily set up a caravan, and then get a carriage and hire a large number of cultivators to clear the way. It's better than trying to drive the road by myself. Looking at the caravan that was gradually going away, Yi Feng didn't have much reaction. After all, this is the fantasy world. Why did they join the caravan? What if you were a spy sent by a robber group? Um, what's going on? When Yi Feng walked for a while, he saw that the caravan who had rejected his own was actually waiting for him, which made him a little puzzled. Is something wrong? Walking to the caravan, looking at Meng Tangyu walking directly towards him, Yi Feng also asked curiously, not knowing what the other party wanted to do. My son said, I can give you a chance. As long as you can defeat him, you can follow our caravan. Meng Tangyu looked at Yi Feng and explained his purpose directly. Okay. Yi Feng also became interested after hearing this, and since the other party made such a request, his strength should be similar to his. Under the same realm, Yi Feng is invincible, and he is not afraid of anyone's challenge. Soon, more than a hundred people in the caravan formed a large circle, leaving a very wide battlefield. Yi Feng, the pinnacle of foundation establishment realm ninth stage. Seeing a yellow-haired youth walking out across from him, Yi Feng felt that the other party didn't look like the young master of a chamber of commerce. Huang Xiaofei, the pinnacle of the ninth stage of the divine treasure realm. Dude, don't say that I, Huang Xiaofei, bully you, I can make you three moves, and allow you to use any external force, medicine pill, talisman, formation, etc., as long as you have it, you can use it at will. Hearing the other party's words, Yi Feng was also greatly shocked. He felt that he was a very not wanting face. Who would have thought that he would meet such a strong opponent today? Daddy is a big realm who is so tall, and then he's still pretending to be here, so don't blame Daddy for being rude. Master, be careful. When Yi Feng took out a 6th rank 9th order Tianle talisman, Meng Tangyu on the side pulled Huang Xiaofei behind him, looking at Yi Feng with murderous eyes. The 6th rank Tianle talisman is equivalent to the full blow of the 9th stage in the Purple Mansion. One talisman can kill Huang Xiaofei. My family's young master just wants to discuss with you. No matter whether you win or lose, you are ready to join the caravan. It's too much for you to come up with such a powerful talisman now. After speaking, Meng Tangyu also felt powerless. 
he might encounter danger at any time outside, and he couldn't trust anyone. Who would have thought that his young master would insist on letting this strange young man join the caravan? Um, hearing Meng Tangyu's words, Yi Feng was also stunned, and said directly to the system, use the spying function once to distinguish whether the other party's words are true or false. Ding, what the other party said is true. In less than a second, the system directly gave the answer Yi Feng wanted. Am I going too far? I took out these talismans to play with, not for fighting. Yi Feng rolled his eyes and looked at Meng Tangyu, who was on the opposite side. Ha ha ha, Meng Tangyu couldn't help laughing after hearing this, looked at Yi Feng and said, These eight sixth rank ninth rank Tianlei talismans are probably all your trump cards. If you take out this kind of trump card and play it, you think I will believe it. As the chief butler of the caravan, Meng Tangyu knew very well that this kind of offensive talisman of 6th rank and 9th rank, a piece of low-grade spirit stones worth at least 100 million, and such an expensive talisman used to play, does he really think he is a fool? Boom, boom, boom. However, when he saw that Yi Feng threw out all the eight expensive Tianlei talismans in his hand, he was instantly dumbfounded. Looking at the eight deep pits around five or six meters deep, not only Meng Tangyu and Huang Xiaofei, but also the more than 100 caravan members gathered around were dumbfounded. 800 million low-quality spirit stones, gone. This is what everyone is thinking at this time. Prodigal, prodigal, even if you want to prove it, you can just throw one talisman, you don't need to throw all the eight talismans out, why don't I believe it? Meng Tangyu was already furious at this time. He didn't expect Yi Feng to do such a shameful thing in order to prove his own rhetoric. That was a talisman of low-quality spirit stones worth 800 million. Come here, please help me. With that said, Yi Feng stuffed the 6th rank 9th order Tianlei talisman into Meng Tangyu's hands, the number of which was about a hundred. Next, he began to put the Tianlei talisman in Huang Xiaofei's hands. It took more than half an hour for Yi Feng to finally distribute the remaining 9,992 Tianlei talismans to the entire caravan. Silly. At this time, the entire caravan looked at the 80 or 90 Tianlei talismans in their hands, and looked at Yi Feng with a dazed look, not understanding what Yi Feng meant. Come on, let's have a feast of thunder. Throw out the Tianlei talismans in your hands, and let the Tianlei come more violently. Yi Feng looked at the stunned crowd and shouted excitedly. This will destroy all of today's prodigal products in minutes, and these people definitely can't help me for free and I can give them a little benefit later, otherwise it can trigger prodigal behavior. I am simply a prodigal genius. What? Yi Feng felt that he was born for the invincible prodigal system. Loser. This guy is such a prodigal, so many 6th rank 9th rank Tianlei talismans, how much spirit stones is this worth? Incomprehensible. Meng Tangyu couldn't understand Yi Feng's thoughts at all, and was also shocked that the other party could take out so many 6th rank 9th order talismans. Even his own young master, with a prominent status, would not carry so many high-grade talismans with him. Not to mention that such a huge number of talismans will be taken out and played with. Dage, are you serious? Then I'll really throw it away. At this time, Huang Xiaofei looked at Yi Feng with great excitement and asked, his eyes full of eagerness to try. Of course it's serious, just throw it away. When Yi Feng heard Huang Xiaofei's question, he quickly gave a positive answer. Everyone obeys the order and throws the talisman. Following Huang Xiaofei's order, more than a hundred members of the caravan gritted their teeth, and a trace of divine sense continued to bless the talisman, and finally threw them all out. One after another sky thunder condensed and formed in the air, because everyone was throwing the sky thunder talisman together, and thousands of sky thunder condensed together in the air. This kind of scene, everyone who watched it was shocked, and even felt that it would be a lifetime of shock. It is impossible to see such a shocking scene. Boom, 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 the sky is thunderous, the thunder is rolling. When more than 9,000 thunderbolts crashed down from the sky, the ground instantly became turbulent. Smoke rises, the earth shakes. When everything was calm, the wide area surrounded by more than a hundred people had already turned into a huge pit. Ding. Congratulations to the host for defeating today's prodigal products, rewarding 1,000 prodigal points, and rewarding supernatural powers, the Buddha of good and evil. Silly. After Yi Feng heard the sound of the system, he was completely dumbfounded. 
he never thought that the reward this time was actually rewarding a magical power. Not only that, the system didn't even give any information about this magical power, as if he needed to use it himself to understand it. Should I say it or not, it is because of the blessing of these people that I can get supernatural powers this time. System, give everyone 100 million top quality spirit stones, it's not too much. Yi Feng is really happy at this time. In the fantasy world, what he wants most is a unique magical power. Although he has not received any information, but just the name, he feels that this magical power is definitely not simple. Ding, the number is too high, it does not meet the standard of prodigal. But the system poured cold water on Yi Feng. 10 million. 1 million. Finally, after Yi Feng was reduced to 10,000 top quality spirit stones, the system finally passed. However, Yi Feng always felt that this spirit stone's quantity system was still not very satisfied, but he couldn't bear his own soft grinding and hard foam, so he reluctantly agreed. Old Zhang, hurry up and give me a slap, I always have the feeling that I'm dreaming that the talisman worth 8 or 9 billion low quality spirit stones was thrown out like a piece of trash, it's so illusory. Quote, when I go back this time, I see who dares to look down on me. This is definitely the most glorious moment in daddy's life. Is this what it feels like to be a loser? It's so cool. At this time, the spirits of more than 100 caravan members were a little dazed. It was really fun and exciting to play this ticket just now. Steward Meng, if my father dares to scold me as a prodigal again in the future, you must testify to me. Compared with this guy, I have sullied the word, prodigal son. He is a real prodigal. Shit. Huang Xiaofei's eyes looking at Yi Feng were full of admiration. Hearing his young master's words, Meng Tangyu also smiled helplessly, because he was completely powerless to refute. 10,000 6th rank 9th rank talismans are worth a trillion low quality spirit stones. With such a huge number of spirit stones, they can kill him. Prodigal, this guy is such a prodigal. It's ridiculous that I mocked the other party before, but I don't need to take out so many talismans to slap me in the face. Looking at Yi Feng with a dull expression not far away, Meng Tangyu also began to guess the identity of the other party. How big of a family can he have to make the other party such an unscrupulous prodigal? Thank you for helping me throw away those broken talismans just now. I hope you don't dislike these superb spirit stones. At this point, the entire caravan had regrouped in the open space beside, but seeing Yi Feng starting to send interspatial rings one by one, everyone was dumbfounded again. 10,000, turned out to be 10,000 top quality spirit stones, top quality spirit stones. Crazy, am I dreaming that I have just experienced the highlight of my life, and I haven't even said it yet, and I have been given so many superb spirit stones. There are so many top quality spirit stones that I can't earn in my entire life in the Chamber of Commerce. When the first few people checked the 10,000 top quality spirit stones in the interspatial ring, they exclaimed one after another, looking at Yi Feng as if they were looking at a god of wealth. 10,000 top quality spirit stones per person, 108 people or 1,080,000 top quality spirit stones, where the hell did this prodigal come from, don't bring such a prodigal with money. Looking at Yi Feng who continued to send interspatial rings, Meng Tangyu was really frightened. Spendthrift, I'm such a prodigal, when I go back, I must tell my father about this. I must let my father know that for more than 10 years, I have suffered grievances that I should not have suffered. Looking at Yi Feng, who was crazy about money, Huang Xiaofei was overwhelmed. Today, he has seen what a real prodigal is. Steward Meng, I thank the Chamber of Commerce for their care over the years, but this time the transport of goods is a long way, and the danger is unknown. I don't want to gamble with my own life. With these 10,000 top quality spirit stones, I can buy enough for a few years, culture resources. Butler Mang, you know me. The reason why I choose the most dangerous delivery materials is to earn more spirit stones. I'm done with my life, but I don't want my son to be like me. Now I have 10,000 excellent spirit stones, enough for me to buy my son the cultivation resources he needs. Dot dot dot. At this time, as the first person stood up, the rest no longer cared about anything, and all said their own thoughts. After a few minutes, seeing that only Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tangyu were left in the entire caravan, Yi Feng was dumbfounded. How can you still play like this? 
I just gave you 10,000 top quality spirit stones just to trigger a prodigal behavior, and you just kicked the poles and walked away. Call. Meng Tang Yu tried his best to suppress the anger that was about to erupt in his heart. He never expected this situation, and it never happened. Ding. Congratulations to the host for the success of the prodigal, rewarded with 200 prodigal points, and rewarded with blood ginseng pill recipe 1. Butler Meng, this is none of my business. Yi Feng didn't care about the reward, but walked in front of Meng Tang Yu and explained it innocently. Hearing this, Meng Tang Yu's body trembled uncontrollably, and the anger that had just been suppressed was showing signs of breaking out again. None of your business, how dare you say that? What if you don't give each of you 10,000 of the best spirit stones? I didn't expect these people to be so greedy for money and forget their righteousness. They originally planned to give each of them 100 million top quality spirit stones, but fortunately they only gave 10,000 top quality spirit stones, they didn't deserve my 100 million top quality spirit stones at all. Quote. Not noticing Meng Tengyu who was on the verge of an outbreak at this time, Yi Feng patted his chest and continued with a look of joy. Puff. Finally, after hearing Yi Feng's words, Meng Tengyu's blood attacked his heart, a mouthful of blood spurted out, and his face instantly turned extremely pale. Dage, stop talking, you're almost mad at Butler Meng. Seeing Meng Tengyu who was vomiting blood, Huang Xiaofei shouted at Yi Feng with a broken expression. Not to mention Meng Tengyu vomited blood because of his anger, his chi and blood swelled up when he was listening, and most importantly, he was completely powerless to refute. 10,000 6th rank 9th rank Tianle talismans are thrown and played. 108 people, each with 10,000 top quality spirit stones. People said that they were going to give each person 100 million top quality spirit stones, but others said they didn't believe it, but Yi Feng said it, Huang Xiaofei really believed it. In less than an hour, Huang Xiaofei felt that Yi Feng was no longer just an ordinary prodigal, but a mad prodigal. How could a normal person do such a prodigal thing? I vomited blood from Butler Meng. What does this have to do with me, don't I just tell the truth? But seeing Meng Tengyu's sluggish expression, Yi Feng also knew that he had something to do with him, just a little bit, so naturally he would also take a little bit of responsibility. Butler Meng, what's your current situation and what heavenly and mortal treasures do you need to heal your injury? Having said that, Yi Feng began to search in the system space. Nine Leaf Soul Returning Grass The Golden Silkworm Star Shines on the Stone Purple Thunder Lion Demon Blood Essence. Epiphany Dan. Swordsman Advanced Fragment. Tianxuan Secret Technique Epiphany Pill. When Yi Feng took out all the things in the system space at present, he was sad to find that none of them seemed to be usable. On the side, Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tengyu looked at the things Yi Feng kept taking out, and their eyes were straight. Nine Leaf Soul Returning Grass, they have only seen it on the Spiritual Herbs Secret Book who would have thought that they have seen the real thing now, and it is a handful, at least a dozen plants. Golden Silkworm Star Shining Stone, their chamber of commerce has been established for thousands of years, and they once owned one piece. The other party took out five pieces and threw them on the ground like junk. Purple Thunder Lion Blood Essence, although they don't recognize demonic beasts' blood essence, but Meng Tangyu, as a seventh stage powerhouse in the Void Realm, felt a suffocation on the five drops of blood essence. Pressure. Epiphany Pill, Shuantian Secret Technique Epiphany Pill, Jianxin Advanced Fragment, although they don't recognize it, can they be mortal objects that can be put together with the other three? At this time, Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tangyu only had one thought in their minds, that is, are you trying to help heal your wounds, or are you just showing off your wealth on purpose? There are still too few things in hand, and there is not a single top thing at the critical moment. Hearing Yi Feng muttering in dissatisfaction, and then putting everything away, Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tangyu were completely numb. This is totally pretending to show off your wealth. And this show of wealth is not concealed at all. The two of them understood it completely at this time, and their eyes were full of anger when they looked at Yi Feng again. If you don't bring such irritating people, are you not afraid that we will snatch them? How big is your heart? Butler Meng, you must be very clear about your own situation. Let's talk, what medicine pill is needed, no matter how many medicine pills it is, I will definitely be responsible for your current injury to the end. Yi Feng looked at Meng Tangyu and asked seriously, he was ready to use the prodigal to open the medicine pill jar. Are you going to start showing off your wealth again? 
Looking at Yi Feng with a serious face, Meng Tangyu thought for a while, the corners of his mouth rose slightly, and he said with a playful look, I am a blood attack, I need an 8th grade blood ginseng pill recipe to heal, and it must be 5 lines. That's all it takes. Let you show off your wealth. Let you pretend. The pill recipe for the blood ginseng pill has long been lost, not to mention the 5 grains, even if it is a blood ginseng pill with 1 grain, you may not be able to find it in the entire Shuandian continent, and it will finally make you shriveled once. Looking at Yi Feng who was stunned, Meng Tangyu's face was full of pride. But Steward Meng can still play it. The blood ginseng pill recipe has long been lost. How could this mad prodigal get it out? Huang Xiaofei, who was on the side, also looked at Yi Feng, curious how Yi Feng could resolve this embarrassing situation. After all, he just released a rhetoric, no matter how many medicine pills are available. Blood Shenden, the pill recipe reward I just got seems to be the blood ginseng pill recipe. After hearing Meng Tengyu's words about bleeding ginseng pills, Yi Feng remembered the pill recipe reward he had just received after completing the prodigal act. Never mind, it's useless to have pill recipes. System, consume prodigal points indefinitely, open a medicine pill jar, specify 8 grade blood ginseng pills, and the quantity is 10. Yi Feng no longer thought about it, and directly issued an order to the system. Although the chance of specifying an 8th grade medicine pill is only 20%, he still has more than 40,000 prodigal points, and each medicine pill jar is only 100 prodigal points, which can definitely be opened. As for why 10 pieces were opened, this kind of thing obtained by opening the jar can trigger the reward of the prodigal, and the prodigal points obtained are very considerable, so he naturally has to find a way to get the lost prodigal points back. Ding! Open a total of 80 medicine pill jars, consume 8,000 prodigal points, and get 10 9 pattern 8 grade blood ginseng pills. In less than 3 seconds, the system prompt sounded from Yi Feng's mind. This son, it doesn't matter if you can't get it out. I was just joking. After all, the blood ginseng pill has long been lost. Seeing that Yi Feng didn't respond for a long time, Meng Tangyu also felt that he had played a bit too much. After all, Yi Feng was not annoying in other aspects except to show off his wealth. However, when Meng Tangyu was halfway through speaking, he saw a blood red medicine pill appeared in Yi Feng's hand, and there was even a trace of qi and blood entangled with the naked eye on the medicine pill. Nine patterns, nine patterned blood ginseng pill. When Meng Tangyu checked it carefully, he found that the blood ginseng pill was actually a nine patterned blood ginseng pill, and he suddenly exclaimed, his eyes full of disbelief. Butler Meng, don't be stunned, and take the blood ginseng pill quickly. Looking at Meng Tangyu who was stunned, Yi Feng urged him directly. After all, if the other party didn't eat the first one quickly, how could the remaining nine start to fail? Sir, in fact, my injury is not serious, and I can recover in about a day of recovery. There is no need to take such a precious medicine pill. Meng Tangyu hurriedly resigned at this time, not to mention that it was just a blood attack, even if he really suffered serious trauma, he would not be willing to take this nine pattern blood ginseng pill, because this medicine pill is priceless. To put it badly, selling him is not worth this medicine pill. Precious, just this broken medicine pill is still precious. Hearing Meng Tangyu's words, Yi Feng said he didn't understand. After all, there are pill recipes. If he can pill refining and prepare the spiritual herbs he needs, it's not a matter of casual refining. With that said, Yi Feng walked directly towards the wild horse in front of the carriage beside him. Broken medicine pill, not to mention the legendary nine patterns, even if it is just one pattern, you may not be able to find one if you look at the entire Shuantian continent. Do you call this a broken medicine pill? Hearing Yi Feng's words, Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tangyu looked at each other, and both saw a touch of deep helplessness in each other's eyes. People are demented prodigals, they say that medicine pill is broken, what can you do? Don't want. However, when the two of them saw that Yi Feng actually put the priceless nine pattern blood ginseng dan to the mouth of the wild horse, all their expressions changed and they exclaimed. But it was too late. The wild horse stretched out his tongue and directly swallowed the blood ginseng dan in Yi Feng's hand and chewed it. Frenzied, this is simply utter disgrace. Seeing that the nine pattern blood ginseng that he was reluctant to eat was eaten by a wild horse, Meng Tangyu felt that his heart was bleeding. Ding, the prodigal method conforms to the standard, and the witnesses conform to the standard. 
Congratulations to the host for the prodigal success, and a reward of 3,000 prodigal points. What? Hearing the prompt sound suddenly sounded by the system, Yi Feng also had a happy expression on his face. He did not expect that he would be rewarded 3,000 prodigal points if he lost just one nine patterned blood ginseng pill. 7,000 prodigal points, deducting the prodigal points consumed by opening the medicine pill jar, and 19,000 prodigal points for whoring for nothing. No, Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tangyu hadn't recovered from Yi Feng's depraved behavior just now, but they saw each other take out a nine patterned blood ginseng pill to feed the wild horse again, which made the two of them collapse again, shouted. Ding. The prodigal method conforms to the standard, and the witnesses conform to the standard. Congratulations to the host for the prodigal success, and a reward of 3,000 prodigal points. Ignoring the shouts of the two, and hearing the system sound resounding in his mind again, Yi Feng decisively took out the third nine pattern blood ginseng pill. Fourth, fifth, by the end, Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tangyu not far away were completely numb. Even, both of them had a hallucination, the nine pattern blood ginseng pill is just a broken medicine pill used to feed beasts. Butler Meng, look at this nine patterned blood ginseng pill. Before Yi Feng finished speaking, Meng Tangyu directly took the nine patterned blood ginseng dan passed by Yi Feng and ate it. The whole process was smooth and smooth, and there was no sign of struggle in his heart. Don't say it, it tastes pretty good. Feeling that the medicinal effects of Juin Zushenden began to emerge in the body, Meng Tangyu gave a casual comment. Hey, Butler Meng, you have finally become the kind of person you once hated the most. Hearing Meng Tangyu's casual comment, Huang Xiaofei looked at Yi Feng again, but his eyes were full of fear. Meng Tangyu, who is known as the Iron Rooster in his own chamber of commerce, is the most disliked in his life as the behavior of the prodigal family, and even boycotting the prodigal family has long become a morbid belief. But such a person has been changed to such a degree by Yi Feng in such a short period of time, how can this not make Huang Xiaofei feel fear? Ding! The prodigal method meets the standards, and the witnesses meet the standards. Congratulations to the host for the successful prodigal, reward 3000 prodigal points, and reward Ju in blood Shenden 1000, this medicine pill prodigal will not receive prodigal rewards. Um, Yi Feng originally thought that the prodigal reward would not be triggered this time, but who would have thought that not only would the prodigal reward be triggered again, but he unexpectedly got a thousand eight grade blood ginseng pills. It seems that steward Meng's injury is not very serious. Otherwise, swallowing the nine pattern blood ginseng pill will definitely not trigger the reward of the prodigal family. Thinking of this, Yi Feng suddenly noticed Huang Xiaofei on the side, looked at Meng Tangyu who ate the nine pattern blood ginseng dan, and thought to himself, it seems that Huang Xiaofei is also greedy for this nine pattern blood ginseng dan. Master Huang, are you also greedy for this nine pattern blood ginseng pill? Yi Feng looked at Huang Xiaofei and said, there was a handful of blood ginseng pills in his hand, and he handed it over, and said directly, eat it, I have a lot of medicine pills, I have enough. Stare, hearing this, don't talk about Huang Xiaofei, even Meng Tangyu, whose mentality has changed drastically, can't help but widen his eyes. It's okay to eat, but isn't it a bit too much to be full? So fragrant. A few minutes later, the three of them sat in the carriage of the carriage, gulping down the nine pattern blood ginseng pill, with extremely happy expressions on their faces. Zhu Shenden belongs to the healing medicine pill. If there is no injury in the body, no matter how much you eat, it will not have any other effect on the body. It is nothing more than the taste is really good. After a while, when the three of them each ate more than 209 pattern blood ginseng pills, they stopped because they were really full. Brother Yi, you will be my Huang Xiaofei's dage in the future. As long as there is something that can be of use to my younger brother in the future, feel free to speak up, and my younger brother will definitely help me with all my strength. Yi Feng completely overcame Huang Xiaofei in a frenzied and prodigal way. Although his chamber of commerce has been developed for thousands of years and has an extremely rich background, but to put it bluntly, it is not necessarily able to do the more than 609 pattern blood ginseng pills that the three people just ate. There is no other reason, just because the blood ginseng pill pill recipe has long been lost, even if Xuantian continent has many spiritual herbs needed to refine the blood ginseng pill, but without the pill recipe, everything is meaningless. Xiao Fei, when I go back this time, I will explain it to your father in person, 
just what you have done for more than 10 years, you can't be called a prodigal at all, the president's pattern is too small, and you will suffer in vain, more than 10 years of grievances. At this time, Meng Tangyu looked at Huang Xiaofei and said very seriously. No way, after seeing Yi Feng's arrogant and arrogant behavior, whether Meng Tangyu is willing to admit it or not, his mentality has really changed dramatically. Consider it a loser. As for his own young master's recognition of Yi Feng as Dage, Meng Tangyu will not stop it. To put it in a bad way, Yi Feng can recognize his own young master as his younger brother. By the way, you have been saying what kind of precious medicine pill is this blood ginseng dan, where is it precious? Yi Feng was curious at this time, and finally asked the doubts in his heart. Pill Recipe Young Master Yi, this blood ginseng pill, whether it is refining or kneading spiritual herbs, is not difficult, but only the pill recipe has long been lost, which has led to the blood ginseng pill becoming an extremely precious medicine pill, and the blood ginseng pill is very precious. It's also one of the top-ranked cures in medicine pill. Hearing Yi Feng's question, Meng Tangyu immediately explained. The lost blood ginseng pill recipe. Saying that, Yi Feng took out the blood ginseng pill recipe from the system space and said, I have the blood ginseng pill recipe. Looking at the pill recipe that Yi Feng handed over, Meng Tangyu looked at it and looked at it, but he couldn't confirm the authenticity of the pill recipe. Only by refining it according to the pill recipe can the authenticity of the pill recipe be determined. I, Meng Tangyu, have never trusted anyone in my life, but I trust young Master Yi. Young Master Yi, is this pill recipe real? Meng Tangyu looked at Yi Feng with a serious look and asked. Real, and I can give it to your chamber of commerce. However, how to maximize the benefits of this pill recipe is something that your chamber of commerce needs to consider but I will take 10% of the profits from selling blood ginseng pills in the future. Thinking that it is useless to keep this pill recipe in hand, it is better to take it out and give it to Huang Xiaofei and the others, and then all the proceeds will be invested in the Star Soul Sect. Master, the Star Soul Sect you founded is just in its infancy. The disciples have worked hard and worked hard to help you grow and develop sect. It's a blessing for Master to have such a great disciple as me, Yi Feng thought very narcissistically at this time. Okay, if this pill recipe is true, I agreed on behalf of my father. Huang Xiaofei agreed very decisively at this time. To be honest, Yi Feng only needs 10% of the profit, but in fact, he has already taken care of their chamber of commerce, not to mention 10%. Even if it is 20% or 30% of the profit, as long as the pill recipe is true, they will agree to. The pill recipe must be real, you will know when you go back and try it. But that 10% of the profit doesn't need to be given to me, you just need to send someone to my master's sect every month. By the way, how much is the value of the goods you shipped this time, I bought them all, and then throw them all here. Butler Meng why don't you take me and Xiaofei to my sect first, it just happens to be a recognition door. Yi Feng looked at Meng Tangyu and proposed directly. Young Master Yi, these goods are not worth a few dollars. If you don't want them, you don't want them. I'll take you back to sect first. How could Meng Tangyu let Yi Feng really pay for it, and he also heard that Yi Feng wanted to return to sect as soon as possible, so he just let it go. After all, if the pill recipe is true, their chamber of commerce will be the only sale in the entire Shuantian continent. The merchants of blood ginseng pills will earn countless times the wealth of this batch of goods. Finally, you don't have to use your feet to drive anymore. Standing on the flying sword driven by Meng Tangyu, Yi Feng felt that after returning to sect, he must learn to fly with the sword as soon as possible, otherwise it would be a hassle to travel. And Meng Tangyu and Huang Xiaofei were both wondering what kind of behemoth Yi Feng was in the sect. After rushing for most of the day, as night fell, the three also took a short rest in a nearby town. Even if Steward Meng leads the way, it will take three days to get to the Star Soul Sect. I hope the prodigal products refreshed in these three days will be normal. Thinking about it, Yi Feng, who was lying on the bed, fell asleep, and continued to find the immobilized seven fairies to play games. In another room. Huang Xiaofei also ended the call with his father through the sound transmission jade pendant. Young master, what did the president say? Meng Tangyu asked excitedly. Steward Meng, my father said I was crazy, and he said he couldn't spare me when he went back. By the way, 
my father said that you are crazy too, and you won't be able to spare you when you go back. Dot dot dot. Hearing Huang Xiaofei's words, the smile on Meng Tangyu's face instantly stiffened, it was different from what he imagined. It doesn't matter, anyway, I absolutely believe in Brother Yi. When we go back, see that I don't need to beat my father in the face with this pill recipe. Soon, Huang Xiaofei's eyes became firm, Yi Feng was his greatest confidence. Qinhai Chamber of Commerce Headquarters. Meng Lao, I have to trouble you to come over in person, this time the things you have encountered are very difficult. It's not just my son who is incapable of going crazy, even your son is crazy, and even the goods shipped this time were thrown away. What did they say, young Master Yi, I don't know what method they used, they have completely let the two people have lost their minds, and my biggest worry now is the safety of both of them. Huang Dai said worriedly to the grey-robed old man beside him. Don't worry, President, they will be fine, I'll go find them now. After finishing speaking, the grey-robed old man rose into the sky in the dark and rushed towards the town where the two were at the fastest speed. The next morning, Yi Feng went to check today's prodigal products as soon as he woke up. Today's prodigal product. Fighting War Saint Body Fragments 10,000. Fighting War Saint Body an extremely powerful fighting physique. The more serious the injury, the more powerful it can burst out. This thing is so fierce. System, is it a loser if I use it for myself? This kind of good thing, even Yi Feng is a little reluctant to lose, and he is still a mortal body, and he really needs such a powerful special physique. Ding, the use of the host will deduct unimaginable prodigal points, please don't do stupid things. Ding, remind the host that although the fighting war saint body is powerful, it is not worthy of your status, so don't pay too much attention to this garbage body. Yi Feng also laughed bitterly when he heard the two prompt tones from the system. The introduction was so fierce, but he still had a rubbish physique. Since you can't use it yourself, how can you defeat it? Thinking about this question, Yi Feng also put on clothes and left the guest room. On the first floor of the restaurant, Yi Feng came down and found that Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tangyu were having breakfast. He suddenly thought of giving death sword intent to Li Fei, who didn't like swordsmanship very much in the second stage Heavenly Dao battlefield, and couldn't help but look directly. He looked at Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tangyu. Brother Yi, come quickly, we have prepared your breakfast for you. After seeing Yi Feng coming down from the stairwell, Huang Xiaofei hurriedly greeted him. Sitting on the dining table, Yi Feng looked directly at Huang Xiaofei and asked, Xiaofei, what do you think about the cultivator who is at the forefront of the battle? Um, hearing Yi Feng asking such a strange question, Huang Xiaofei was also taken aback. After a moment of contemplation, he looked at Yi Feng with a serious look and said, Brother Yi, although I am a playboy, and I don't have the heart to focus on cultivating the Tao, I have a great deal of respect for the kind of cultivator who dares to charge to the forefront. Respect. Hey. At this time, Meng Tangyu on the side also sighed and explained, Young Master Yi, Young Master's comprehension in cultivation technique and martial skill is extremely poor, and spiritual roots are also inferior spiritual roots, it's not that he doesn't want to work hard, it's that there are some things you can't change by working hard. System, does the war saint body have any requirements for comprehension, spiritual roots, etc. After hearing the words of the two, Yi Feng directly asked the system. Ding. Fighting War Saint Body ignores comprehension, spiritual roots, and does not require cultivation, any cultivation technique and martial skill. As long as you continue to fight for life and death, your own strength can improve on your own, and you can comprehend the most suitable own super martial during the battle. Skill, the body of the War Saint, is extremely mysterious. Hiss, hearing the system's answer, Yi Feng couldn't help but take a deep breath. Such a terrifying fighting war saint body was actually said to be broken by the system. Xiao Fei, are you willing to be the kind of cultivator who is at the forefront? Um, after asking, Yi Feng looked stunned for a moment, and then laughed bitterly. If Huang Xiao Fei really wanted to be that kind of person, this powerful war saint body would not be able to give him. Brother Yi, play for fun, trouble for trouble, you can't make fun of your younger brother's life. It's not that my brother is boasting, I may not be able to fight, but escape is absolutely top-notch. Looking at Huang Xiaofei with a proud face, Meng Tangyu silently moved his body to the side, he really couldn't afford to lose this person. 
As a cultivator, it is all about heaven defying, no matter what the reason, the nature of the young master of your own family is not suitable for becoming a cultivator at all. Really, however, Yi Feng was overjoyed when he heard Huang Xiaofei's answer, isn't this an inappropriate goal of a prodigal? As for whether Huang Xiaofei will change his mind after he has the fighting war saint body, that is no longer important. As long as Huang Xiaofei thinks like this now, then giving him the war saint body will definitely be a loser. Really, really, seeing Yi Fang's terrifying eyes as if he was staring at his prey, Huang Xiaofei suddenly felt a little flustered for some reason. I'll tell you two stories first. There used to be a prodigal son who had 10,000 death sword intent shards in his hand. He wanted to destroy all of these death sword intent shards. Finally, he found a fatty who hated sword cultivators and gave him the ultimate death sword intent. Quote. Hearing this, Huang Xiaofei and Meng Tangyu looked directly at Yi Feng, and they didn't even need to feel that they believed that the prodigal Yi Feng said was definitely himself. Defeating all 10,000 death sword intent fragments and giving a person who hates sword cultivators the ultimate sword intent, you are a loser, but to that fatty, it is simply murderous. Let's go on to the second story. War Saint Body, an extremely powerful fighting physique, ignores perception and spiritual roots, and does not need cultivation cultivation technique and martial skill, as long as you continue to fight for life and death, you can constantly improve your strength, and you can even comprehend it in battle. The most suitable for own powerful martial skill. Not only that, but with a war saint body, the more serious the injury you receive in battle, the more terrifying the power that erupts. And such a terrifying fighting war saint body happens to be in the hands of the prodigal son, but he has to lose his family, so he thought of giving this fighting war saint body to a person who doesn't like to charge and fight desperately, preferably the kind of escape. First class. The more Huang Xiaofei listened, the more flustered he became, and at the end, he really wanted to yell at Yi Feng, why don't you just say my name? On the other hand, Meng Tangyu became more and more excited. Although he had never heard of such a terrifying physique, it was what Yi Feng said, and he had no doubts. Thinking that his young master really got such a terrifying fighting war saint body, as long as he finds a way to make the young master have a fighting heart that is not afraid of life and death, his future achievements are simply inestimable. Brother Yi, your story is really wonderful. However, I was just joking. I admire those cultivators who are not afraid of life and death and have the courage to charge into battle. How could they be a shameless villain who is afraid of death and is proficient in escape? If it weren't for my own fatal flaw, I would have liked to immediately enter the battlefield of Heavenly Dao and have a lively battle of life and death. At this time, Huang Xiaofei looked at Yi Feng and quickly defended, lest Yi Feng really give him the fighting war saint body even if the fighting war saint body was extremely powerful, but he didn't want it, and he didn't want to constantly experience life and death battles, letting himself fight again and again. Feeling death, he wanted to be a dude in peace and quiet, and enjoy his decadent life. When Meng Tangyu on the side heard this, he was so angry that he could not wait to slap him directly. This heaven-defying opportunity has been brought to your lips, why do you still dislike it? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.